What? Goofy ass, like All shit, right, nigga. Man. You gonna say? Nigga talk that shit if you want you to, boy. Dude, you and motherfucking toy like got something planned this weekend. It's next weekend, bro. Valentine's but you, day, yeah, it's next weekend, Shout not this Valentine's weekend. Day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Valentine's Day definitely coming up. Yes, man. You know what I'm saying, man? Well, fuck you know this what nigga. I mean, man. Right, this nigga always talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, man. Look we at my boy, a socks hat, bro. I'm glad <laughs> you got rid of that gas hat up here, G. Hey, right, nigga, I love that hat. That's my daughter' favorite hat. You know what I'm saying? That's why that nigga been wearing that bitch. But yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Be back. Think I had it. So cool. So cool. So cool. Yo. Yo. Hey. Yo, welcome back. Welcome back to the Opinion Hated Podcast. You know what I'm saying? And I go by that nigga named Ace. I'm Joe. And we back. In the building. In the motherfucking building. Let's get it, G. Yo. Hell uh, yeah. Once again, welcome back to the Opinion Hated Podcast. And, uh, you know, once again, like always, you know, we want to say thank you to all the viewership, you know what I'm saying, and everybody listening, you know what I'm saying, right now. Subscribers. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, right now, I need y'all to stop what y'all doing and go ahead and hit subscribe, you know what I'm saying, like some shit, share some shit, comment on some shit, and then while you at it, make sure you follow the Opinion Hated Podcast on wherever you listen to the podcast to, whether it's Spotify or Apple Podcast. Yeah, you man. You know what I'm saying? Let us know, man. We yes, here. Sir. You know what I'm saying? But those of y'all who been rocking since day one, we fuck with y'all. We you know appreciate it. Uh, yeah, let me cut that off. You know what I'm saying? And we going to give us another round of applause. Right. Back. I know y'all yeah. heard us opening, man. I'm heating this up glass, man. Man, because this nigga yeah. stupid, man. This nigga. <laughs> <laughs> talking about something, which I got this weekend. But he talking about next weekend type shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Good, like, though. You know what I meant, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, like, we want to say rest in peace to Dustin. Damn it. You know what I'm saying? A.K.A. Streets. You know yep. what I'm saying? From Say About the Bell and shit. He had passed. You know what I'm saying? Peace. Like, you know, a few days ago or whatever, you know what I'm saying, from cancer and shit, you know? And, like, you know, the reason I say that, because, like, I grew up on say by the Bell and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, you know, that's something I used to watch coming up, man. And, like, I used to want to fuck Kelly Kapowski. <laughs> 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 I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? I know it's Black History Month. I can't be hey, talking man, about but, fucking hey, white, white women, but hey. she, she would have got it back in the day. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. So it's like yeah, episode, you know what I'm saying? We send an RP to a, you know what I'm saying, to a legend or a childhood yeah. style we grew up on, you feel me? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like 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 we said not that long ago, 2020 ain't nothing but a continuation. I mean, 2021 ain't shit yep. but a continuation of 2020, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. you know, it's like every yeah, week is something else, but like you know with all this shit that's going on, you know, it's like, man, you know what I'm saying? It just make me feel like it's more important to live life because like you know yeah, every bro. day gets a fucking reminder of some shit yeah, you know what yeah, i'm saying reminded me i'm getting older i'm getting wiser you know what i'm saying and it's crazy because like i remember when i was a shorty like i used to look at motherfuckers in their 30s like some old ass niggas you know what i'm saying like for me too real. bro but like shit nigga now that i'm in my 30s it's just like nigga i don't even feel that old like you know of course you get them tags you motherfucking Get up out the bed, yeah. back and shit, yeah, be fucked dude. up. Like, damn. But as long as your mind don't feel old, bro, you ain't yeah. old, man. Shit, yeah. you feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's kind of like that nigga Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? That nigga felt like a big-ass kid. You yeah, feel bro, me? That's you know a wrong saying? comparison. <laughs> <laughs> that's a wrong, wrong, wrong comparison. The wrong comparison. Wrong, wrong comparison. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this time about. Got to do the dope, Ace. Nah, you man. <laughs> hey, no funny shit. Like, no, nah, I don't. You felt do... like a big-ass kid. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, dude. All right. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, but like shit, that that was due to lack of that nigga having a childhood for real type uh, shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, but all I'm saying is, you know what I'm saying? Age ain't shit, but a man state. You know what I'm saying? What's up? And like, What's up? cause like nigga, I look at it sometimes. I be looking at motherfuckers like I went to school with and shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I be like, man, these motherfuckers the same age, and niggas look like they fifty. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Bro. Niggas be looking like they past. The niggas go through passes and first ladies and shit, <laughs> motherfucker. I be like, damn. Oh, <laughs> if they looking like first lady, that's all that motherfucking makeup they got on, man. And I don't know what it is, but then it, like it be crazy. Like, bro, you you be looking at some of these bitches you used to go to school with, and they was like bad in the motherfucker. They fat as hell now. Yeah, motherfucker, they don't look the same no more. Damn, like, bro, shit, I'm telling like, you, fuck. Yeah. Like Man. shit, like and was, I tell you, the ones you motherfuckers wasn't looking at, they bad. You feel me? Man, the for real, the little nice. nerdy yeah, ones, the little lines and shit nice, like bro. that. It's like, that shit crazy. Motherfuckers and glowed up out here. And I don't know how motherfuckers had kids and then turned out that. Turned out that they was gonna be gay at the end. You feel me? What? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm just saying, folks. I ain't trying to judge nobody, folks. I'm being hated. Fuck you talking about? Hey, but I'm just saying. I didn't see this shit. I didn't grow out to see my fucker had two, three kids, and then they pop up with a girlfriend. I'm oh man! man. Hey, I ain't trying to judge you, but damn. Hey, I that shit do be funny, man. Hey, you know bro, what I'm saying? Like, motherfucker. Damn, what the fuck just happened? Hey, motherfucker <laughs> got four, five kids, right, and now I she mean, got a girl. For she it. got a girl for all, man. Hey, shit. Look, we just every seen Every episode, like the last three episodes, this bitch been popping out. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. This motherfucker trying to kick it. This motherfucker be like, pop out. All right, Katie, come on, chill out. Katie, bro. I thought <laughs> Katie, like Katie, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, fuck. But shit, yeah. You said you like that song. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Hey, that nigga got his, he got that shit on his voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, man. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. wild in here, man. Yeah, and also, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, I also want to say, you know, happy birthday to Trayvon Martin. His birthday yeah, was the other day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he would have been uh, 26 years old. 26, you know bro, what I'm saying? Yep. Yep, George Zimmerman, you should have killed this ass. Yeah, like that shit. Should have got up on this ass, though, yeah, for real. Yeah, like shit, that nigga still walking around talking shit. And then it's just like, it, it just seemed like after that verdict had came out around that time. That nigga got tough, bro. Yeah, got cocky than a motherfucker. Tough, that, nigga, like, that nigga thought he was Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker. That nigga thought he was telling that nigga started yeah. signing autographs and shit, bro. Yeah, like, man. You know what I'm saying? And like but that just shows that you know what, but I'm glad you brought up Trayvon Martin too, bro, because that goes the disrespect. Right. That motherfuckers was showing, bro. They was signing Skittles and shit, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like motherfuckers was very disrespectful with that shit. And motherfuckers should have hit him, bro. Motherfuckers should have got George. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Let that nigga walk around. You know what I'm saying? Like Jay even said that, you know what I'm saying? What like I don't even remember exactly what he said, but it was something like the streets is dead, cause Zoom is still out here walking around. They should have got him, man. Yeah. That's to that white motherfucker. They gonna protect their own anyways, bro. That shit, yeah. that nigga ain't even white. What he is? <laughs> yeah, he I, oh, yeah. Shit, I Zimmer. thought the nigga was Hispanic or something. Yeah, you know, know what I'm saying? Zimmerman, folk. Like, I don't know, bro. But shit. I don't yeah, know what yeah. he is. But I feel like he should have got his ass whooped. You feel me? Got his ass killed for that. Oh, shit. Shout out Trayvon Martin. You know yeah, what I'm saying? for sure. You, you know what I'm saying? So and, everybody uh, don't ever forget. You feel me? It's Black History Month. Yeah. You know and like, saying? I'm sitting here looking down at my phone because I just wanted to make sure I was accurate. Right. And y'all do know it's Black History Month. Right. And you know what I'm saying? We ain't really talked too much about it the last episode. But you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to bring it up this episode because this week would be actually be uh, Black Negro History Week. You know what I'm saying? First Negro week. History Week. You know what I'm saying? That's the original Black History Month. It was celebrated for a week by Carter G. Woodson. You know what I'm saying? Like, he put it out there and then uh, in the 1960s. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Let me make sure. Go on here and talk, brother. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Man, shit. So, shit. That's Negro Week. You feel me? Shit. So, that's where it originated. That's where it started from. And I don't think you said 1960 something, bro. I think you said like 1908 or some shit like that. Yeah, that shit was a long time, bro. In 1926. Nah, that's 1926 where it originated as yep. this Negro History Week. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But uh, hold on, let me make sure, man. You know, niggas are always Connors fucking the shit out of In 1970, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's when, you know what I'm saying, it officially became Black History Month, you know what I'm saying, with President Gerald Ford recognized it as that. 
You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just wanted to let y'all know that shit real quick. You know, just the origins of Black History Month. Right. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the way I feel like shit, nigga, if you a white motherfucker and you crossing the street, you better wait till I go past, cause I'm not stopping. Damn. <laughs> Damn! So you, so you trying to seek revenge for Black History Month? Nah, I ain't trying to seek no revenge or nothing. It's just like I said, man. I am not stopping for no white pedestrians this whole month. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Man. You know, motherfuckers like to walk out in the street, be on their phone and all that shit. I'm not stopping. Motherfuckers don't, they don't you know get no fuck, saying? boy. Yeah. They wish you would hit them, but he, yeah. Oh, but anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, nigga, what you what you think about that whole situation with Court Kassad, Karen, and shit, and LeBron? Oh, man, bro, that bitch need to sit down. Shit. She, she young, too, though, bro, for real. When he was like, Hey, Brian, funny as hell. He talking about, I thought that was her, um, his daughter. You feel me? Hey, she young, G. Uh, shit, I feel like she need to sit the fuck down and shut up. Shit, that bitch ain't look that young. You know what, yeah, what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, old like, as hell. That bitch look at least about 35, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that shit crazy, like shit, because motherfuckers saying LeBron told to shut up, shut the fuck up, bitch. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But like, I don't think that nigga said that shit. And hey. if he did, I ain't mad at him. I ain't mad at him. You feel you me? You know what what that, he was going back and forth with the husband. Yeah. She said some shit like, man, know your place. All right. You know, you know what, what I'm saying? saying? And then, like, shit, what? Like, yeah, so either way it go, I ain't mad at LeBron. And LeBron I told her to shut the fuck down. To shut the fuck down, Yeah, because when you talking shit, talk she talking about shit. I'm going to fuck you up. How the All fuck right, you going to fuck on, up man. LeBron? No, that I nigga 6869. You a little bitty ass white woman, you know and what I'm saying? she talking about her husband had a problem with LeBron. You don't even know what I'm saying. Nah, bro. like that nigga just a fan of the Hawks, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's all that shit is, you, you know, know what, what I'm saying? saying? So, you know, motherfuckers just sitting court sad, talking shit, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's about it, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like, man, I don't be understanding when motherfuckers be talking that shit, like especially when it comes from women. Especially white women, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, damn, motherfucker, bitch, how you think you gonna yeah. fuck up LeBron? Cause that bitch, that bitch, that bitch, bro. She, hey, she was surprised. She got threw out. You feel me? Yeah. She felt like she paid all that money to get. But shit, out, I don't know? even know why fans is even in these games. I mean, shit, hey, bro. They got to open shit up. They got to make money. I was yeah. just for the think about. I was just for the action. But what about Candace Parker coming to the sky though? Cause yeah. shit, I wouldn't mind going to the game and see Candace Parker. Yeah, Candace Parker look decent too. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah. she a good ass hooper. You know what I'm saying? So that's a good sign for the city. But you know, yeah. I'm not really a. Uh, you know, a, a big WNBA watcher. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really watched that shit since I was just shorty looking at Cheryl Swoops and, you know what I'm saying, all, all the other, you know what I'm saying, legends of the WNBA. You know what I'm saying? Lisa Leslie and what, 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 what Tamika Coleslaw or some yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tamika Catchins. Tamika Catchins. I said Coleslaw. But, yeah. Man, boy, boy, you feel me here? My daughter watching Diana Taurasi earlier. Yeah. You feel me? So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. what it is. And what's shorty name? You know what I'm saying? That that hoop, you know what I'm saying? Like she came out, she got drafted the same year LeBron got drafted. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Like oh, I, three? Who? Like, like, I don't even remember her name, bro. I told you I don't fuck with Sue the Bird. WNBA too much. Like Sue Bird, I Sue think Bird. it yeah, I think Sue it's Bird. Sue Bird, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. You, know, you, feel you know what I'm saying? She you know, decent you know, like that. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, nigga. Yeah. yeah, Sue Bird got that shit. You feel me? Everybody else watching that probably. No um, women's sports. They know Sue Bird got that yeah. shit. But like shit, I might start fucking with it, man, because like my daughter, she a little active and shit. You know what, right. what I'm saying? So like, nigga, I went mad getting into some sports or something. Yeah, or, yeah. You know, some, some, some gymnastics or something, yeah, or something you know. I think that's good for the kids and shit, G. Yeah, for sure, yeah. man. Yeah. Motherfucker got to have do. something to do out here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And then I be thinking up here, like, because I know the CPS, you know what I'm saying? Like, they ass been on motherfucking strike and shit. Or yeah. they trying to go on strike or yeah, whatever man, the fuck they, going they, on. Yeah, they, they, they shit. They is going on strike, bro, because I don't think they um, reached their agreement. Yeah. Yeah, they they rejected. They talking about that was the last best offer, bro. They said, then, yeah. Hey, like, what you think about that shit, bro? This e-learning shit. I was like, gee, that shit would never go on with motherfuckers. Man, nigga, like shit, well, nigga. E learning school, anyways. Fuck nigga. you talking about? You talking about we at the crib with this shit? Nigga, I wasn't even doing e in person learning. Let alone <laughs> be doing motherfucking e learning. Like shit, nigga. I wouldn't be doing none of that shit. My motherfucking oh, my player be ninety nine. <laughs> shit, triple, 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 <laughs> motherfucking superstar, yeah, nigga. Whatever shit. fuck. My fuck be outside. Fuck that. Yeah, hey, yeah. Shit. All that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll be trying to get fuck with some of the little shorties and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with these little bitches. Like, that's, <laughs> It's all I be trying hey, to do, man. like, but they saying like a lot of these motherfuckers is failing, but like, you know, my biggest Bro, the thing system fucked up the school system uh, fucked up in Chicago, uh, man. You know what I'm saying? And like, I don't even know what's the point in even trying to bring some of these students 
back yeah. in the middle yeah. of the year. Yeah, you might as sure. well just SOL the whole motherfucking year. Let them do their yeah. e-learning and then, you know, because, like, the way I look at it, it's just like, if this COVID shit's supposed to be real, why is y'all putting motherfuckers in in the motherfucking school with one yeah, another. Because it's like, right. they go there, they gonna bring that shit back, and then, like, if you a parent that already work and shit, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, you already outside, now your kid outside amongst other kids, however Look. many kids they got in the classroom. You know these niggas ain't finna wear no mask. Hell no, nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hell no. Nah. Like, they ain't finna do that. Like, you just giving more opportunity to spread that shit. And, like, kids spread yeah. germs quicker yeah, than anybody. Yeah, but the crazy thing about it, though, G, the teachers say... They not even letting their kids go to school. So right. if they ain't letting their kids go, why the fuck would I let my kid go to school? Yeah. You, know what I'm saying? you know what I'm saying? But like how I understood that shit, you know, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. they they probably wouldn't have mad going back. You know what I'm saying? They just wanted to um, at least be vaccinated before you, they went back. How you back. feel about the vaccine, though? You going to get um, nah. vaccinated? Nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm cool on that right now. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that I'm opposed to it and then... You know, I won't eventually think about it. Look, I'm not Dr. Sebi, nigga. I, I motherfucking smoke. I drink. That's what I'm saying. I'm bro. supposed I, to I'm, stop, but I then can't. Then you talking about <laughs> <the> motherfucking <laughs> like. <laughs> but, bro, they telling you got to get two shots, bro. That shit yeah. come in two doses. But, like, my OG, she done got both shots, though. Straight up? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? My OG, she a nurse. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. She frontline frontline worker. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? And, like, she got the first one. You know what I'm saying? I think when that shit first came out. And uh, she got the second one. A few weeks back, you know what I'm saying? And so far, so good, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm like, I ain't completely opposed to that right, shit. Right, right, right. But, like, you know, I'm the type of nigga that I don't need motherfucking take Tylenol if I got a headache or something, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, I just see. deal with that shit. You then know, I so just feel like, like medicine and shit. nah, you know what I'm saying? I use that shit for, like, my last resort. Oh my god! This you nigga, feel done, this don't nigga done no told sense, everybody bro. I used to be a junkie. <laughs> 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 I'm, 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 this nigga talking about he'll take motherfucker like, ibuprofen or Tylenol. Uh, look, simple explanation. That shit don't make me feel good. <laughs> 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 that shit might Hell make my no. headache feel better. <laughs> But shit, nigga, you, you know, know like, half, you turn hey, half, but bro. look, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I went through a little phase, you know what I'm saying, where <laughs> I was fucking with them pills and shit. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> nigga started out with the motherfucking Xanax bars and shit. Straight up, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, fucking with them little Xannies and shit. You know what I'm saying. Like, but it ain't none of that shit. These niggas be out here fucking with. Yeah, they be fuck. looking like these niggas yeah. taking horse tranquilizers. I was but taking hey, like these be taking all type of shit, man. Like these some little be football sleep, pills. You know what I'm saying. Like some little footballs or some. Right. You know what I'm saying. Maybe a little. Uh, you know what? The, what that shit is? Handlebars or something? You know what I'm saying? Like other than I don't that, know, bro. I ain't never fuck with the pill. Yeah, and then like shit. You know, around that time when niggas was fucking with them franchise boys, and you know, what I'm saying them other niggas, you know, doing the white tee and the lean with it, rock with it, shit. Like motherfuckers used to fuck with them. Uh, you know, what I'm saying them pills and shit. Like, but like one day, my like my homie and them, like they used to fuck that shit all the time. Nigga, we definitely talking about the franchise boys. Yeah, yeah. big niggas came out. That was way like, back. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I think I was like 24. Like, everybody yeah, was wearing what? stunners. 24, 25. Like, no, my homie bro. and them used to. That was like, what, what, what year that was, though? Like, shit, what? 06? Was Probably 05, 05, you 05. know what I'm saying? 06 or some shit. Like, somewhere around there, you know what I'm saying? But, like, you know, everybody's wearing the stunners. Franchise, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers was wearing the stunners and shit. You know what I'm saying? My homie Fables. and them used to fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the Fables. I'm starting to see spaceships <laughs> on bang. Yeah. You know, but, like, you know, like, my homie and them used to fuck with them, and then one day I just, like, fuck it, give me one. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I took half of one, and I was like, it's all right. It's decent. You know what I'm saying? Then I took another one, you know what I'm saying, on another day. And motherfucker, I, oh man, that shit felt decent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, I just pretty much, in my experience, I feel like the motherfuckers just pretty much intensify whatever type of mood you in. So, right. like, right. if you in a yeah, fucked up mood, saying, you everybody, rolling everybody hard. Everybody say that, fuck. Yeah, you know what, what I'm saying? saying? You rolling hard, them bitches start hitting. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? That motherfucker might be beating your ass or something. You know what I'm right. saying? But, like. You in a decent mood, like I ain't never had no bad road. You know what I'm saying? No so you bad ain't never trip. Had no bad, no bad. Nah, shit. nah, 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 nah. The reason I stopped fucking with the motherfuckers though. So is hold because... on, let's start back. What made you get addicted to pill? No, <laughs> no, one no addiction, nigga. I just fucking with him. Yeah, man. like this nigga, hey, this nigga gonna make me beat his ass after this <laughs> shit over with. I ain't even gonna lie to you, cause this nigga trying me. You playing? <laughs> but nah, oh, like no, shit. Bro. 
Yeah. You know, like me personally, you know what I'm saying? I had one of them personalities. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? I'll try that shit. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't never fuck with no real drugs. You know what I'm saying? They ain't my speed. So, all uh, you niggas that's out here fucking with that other shit, God bless y'all. You know what I'm saying? But, you know. Hold on. Hold on. Let me. Yeah, this nigga gonna ask me when I got addicted to motherfucking pills and shit. Uh, nah, I just, I just, I just no wanna know, bro. Addiction. I mean, you talking about you don't take talent all the shit, no pills. Uh, like shit, you, you know, I'm a nigga that take, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm a nigga that take the motherfucking, you know, medicine as a last resort. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, so, you know, when it comes to that shit, it's just like, I just seen niggas doing that shit. Every time I kick it, motherfuckers popping one. So I'm like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? One right, day right. I take one and I take a half. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit had me feeling decent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then motherfucker, you know, next time I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to take the whole thing. You feel me? <laughs> you like, shit, it. fuck it. You know what I'm saying? And I was in it. And like, shit, nigga, look, my stupid ass, like, I get up the next day. I already done took one. You know what I'm saying? I think I had a blue Motorola or some shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Or a motherfucking double stack blue dolphin. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, back then they had them motherfucking six point stars and then the motherfucking Bart Simpson. Double stacks. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Double stack, triple stacks. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> motherfucking. Bro, so, it all. I told yeah, you, you know, dick the, the pills. <laughs> <laughs> I tell y'all, bro, dick the pills, man. Yeah, so, shit. I go to work one day. You know what I'm saying? I decided to take one before I go. To work, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker tapped me like mad, bro. He was like, You popped the pill? I was like, Why you say that? He was like, Nigga, your eyes look like cartoons, nigga. I was like, What? <laughs> Hell no. What? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I get about that bitch, and then you know, like after a minute, them motherfuckers take a little minute before they kick in, 30 minutes in or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Nigga start sweating under my arms and shit. I leave. Go <laughs> oh, my little bride crib I had at the time. You know what I'm saying? I went over that bitch crib, nigga. I fucked that bitch for like five, six hours, bro. <laughs> bro, you talking about you was at work look like cartoon. You was yeah, in that bitch. Funny. Ugly, yeah, fool. Yeah, look at goofy. Like, bro, you and this bitch ugly. That's what I would have said, bro. You and this bitch ugly, bro. Yeah, ugly, yeah. Bro. Long story short, man, kids don't do drugs. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't had no bad experience oh, with that shit. That shit just made me feel <laughs> decent. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah you know what I'm saying? That shit just made me. <laughs> I want to do drugs. Shit just oh, made me man. feel like this shit is unnatural for a motherfucker like to feel like, like this. You know what I'm saying? Like they made me feel like no bad way, yeah, man. For real, <laughs> don't do drugs. Yeah, don't <laughs> do drugs though. Oh, even though man. them shits might be <laughs> fun sometimes. Don't do no real drugs, man. Oh man, and I you know, know y'all watching, man. Y'all like, what the fuck, bro? Yeah, yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? It is what it is. I go into more details up, a little later on. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know, like I want to intro our guest that we had tonight. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You know. Like shit, tonight, matter of fact, you know, let, let y'all hear that shit real quick. Shoot him. Okay. Black Dollar RP. Shoot yeah. Oh, yeah. I call me some trophies because I'm winning races. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Designer, I'm tripping and feeling like get paid, but yeah, that's right. I ain't been broke in a minute. Uh, Vanessa, my hustle, my business. Uh, uh, I wanted a copy to get it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got me some trophies because I'm winning races. Yeah, hey, yeah. Designer, I'm tripping and feeling like get paid, but yeah, that's right. I ain't been broke okay. in a minute. Okay, y'all vibe with me, yeah. Okay. Okay, my boy. Yeah. Yeah. I came up from nothing, now I got a lot I got to the money, put stones in my watch Treat me a queen, I don't rock with them thoughts Now you're my work couple grabs in a plot Bless me or not, CP go 800, look at it Wrap it up, put back it, design a big tag it I got a bread, have it, any beef Believe we don't talk back it Let me big flex on y'all for a minute Pay full cash with a four no Rap it, Okay, yeah, okay, you know okay. okay. In the like, building okay. Yeah, that shit right there You yeah. know what I'm saying, that's yeah. by the one and only Finesse guy, okay. You know what I'm saying. Also known as jump shot shooter. Nice. Hey, you know what I'm saying. Like you know, that's nice. what we got in the ball. Boys. boys. Hey, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. My boys. Hey, we rocking with the best right now. Y'all better know that. We hey. get the best opinion, baby. You know. Yeah, yeah. Once again, we're gonna give this nigga a round of applause one more time. Okay, damn, I got a round of applause. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like jump shot shooter. How you feeling today, bro? Man, bro, I'm feeling excellent. Man, life has really been taking a fantastic turn these days. You know? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, we appreciate you getting here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's a little likewise, snow and shit know. out here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's bro. bad. Saying, like, bro. every fucking weekend we coming in here snowing, too. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was seeming bro. like bro wasn't going to pull up, but he made it man. through. And we yeah. appreciate you, bro, for oh, sure. You, you know what I'm saying? Bro. Likewise, sure. likewise. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's just get into it. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, you know, first of all, let's just go with the, you know, I'm pretty sure it's pretty basic for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where the fuck you get the name Jump Shot Shooter? That's crazy, man. Hey, man, you know, shit, like I tell all my people, bro, you know, I was making songs, like, real fast, you know what I'm saying? And my man's like, swish, right. shooter, jump yeah. shot, like, it's a jump shot, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So he was like, man, jump shot, shooter, go say that on the mic. Right. Say it on the mic, you know what I'm saying? Like, jump shot, shooter, shooter. Right. And he took it back, he kept playing it, and he's like, man, I was like, damn, that's my name. Okay. Like, that's your name. So then I've just been running with it, and... Hey. Say I ain't gonna lie. I thought you was gonna come in here and be like, I be killing niggas. Bro. <laughs> Jump I be shooting shit. Right, yeah. shooting, right, right. <laughs> I shoot shooting everybody. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, nah. So man. how long you been doing this shit, bro? Man, I've been doing it for like, man, forever. Probably, yeah, for probably ever with the fall off of it. Yeah. But like, you know, consistently, like, as far as a business, I've been doing it for like four years now. You know what I'm saying? Like real strong, like, like, like real company type shit. You know what I'm saying? And since I've been taking it seriously, it's been really like taking me where I need to go. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Okay. So when you yeah. talking about serious, you talking about like just investing in yourself and shit, just just going putting that shit first, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like like for instance, like right now, you know what I'm saying? Even though you know it's a storm, you know what I'm saying? I had an appointment with you guys and I couldn't miss that. You know right. what I'm saying? If, if I wasn't on a business level, I would have missed it. Been on something like that, you know what I'm saying? But like my manager said, you know, first impression is everything. You know what I'm saying? It, so, it's bro. it's a pleasure that you brothers even reached out, you know what I'm saying, to bring me on the show. So right. I definitely couldn't miss it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, love, bro. All you, of, you, know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That way. And shout once out again. that Gotti too, man. Yeah. Shout hey, out shout Gotti, out Gotti, man. man. My boy yeah. Gotti, man. He going crazy, man. Check my boy Gotti. Gotti podcast, man. He's a good brother, man. Yeah, Real yeah. talk. Make sure y'all go follow that nigga at Gotti World Media on YouTube. Real you know talk. what I'm saying? He just dropped that interview with Leon Rodgers and shit. Right. The other day, so yeah. shout out that nigga for even putting us in tune. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah you know. Yeah, 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 yeah you know that way, that way. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know what I'm saying? Like since you've been starting with the music, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, like shit, what made you even want to, you know, do the rap shit? You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's a million other things motherfuckers could be doing out here. What made you decide rap is, you know what I'm saying? Your way. Well, you know, I always loved music, you know what I'm saying? Like, music was like something I always loved. I was always like a little church boy, you know what I'm saying? And the choir singing and all type of shit, deacon boy. And then, you know, when rap came into my life, you know what I'm saying? Like, all my homies is like, you know, freestyling and stuff like that. Right. So, you know, um, I just was like, you know, following a little wave, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, I was rapping like Bone and Pac and everybody, you know what I'm Everybody was rapping like them niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Them was like the main yeah, people I was rapping bro. like, yeah, shit, you feel nigga, me? I so. used to want to rap too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, bro, shit. always rapping. Every time he's rapping, man. He damn near be a rapper, Yo, you know what I'm saying? Hey, but, I know folk for the style rap, he say, yeah. Yo, <laughs> yeah. Once you get that, hey, once you get that, yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, like, oh, shit, man. You can just stop like, hey. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You got you got a song. Yeah, man. Yeah, so, yeah. So shit, like yeah, yeah man. You yeah. said you grew up on that bone, and you know what I'm saying that twister Pac and, and all twister that shit. And, Pac, yeah, and Biggie. Yeah. So like all of them kind of like kind of gave me a develop of a style. You know what I'm saying. And all then right. I kind of found my own path. And then you know what I'm saying. I just loved it. You know what I'm saying. I just fell in love with it. You know what I'm saying. I just love to make music. You know what I'm saying. I always made songs, and then like I always freestyle. Right. So freestyling was like the main part of me, like continuing to make music because I always would just freestyle all the time. So um, by me just freestyling, I was able to just make songs and then I was able to like switch my style up all the time. You feel me? So right. that's what kind of kept me in the game, just being able to freestyle a lot. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I don't know. It's like even if I didn't like do nothing like, as far as like a business part of music, I just still like making music, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I love making music. It's just a part of me, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, yeah. Now that's what I like your shit, you feel me? Because we just played trophies coming in and then I like finer things too though. You yeah, know bro, I ain't gonna lie, yeah. bro. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah you feel yeah, me? So, then you also yeah. got, you know Girl, what I'm like saying? Like you too. got the shit for the females, you know, finer things, you yeah. know, you got my ladies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. You know, like, so shit, where, where you cultivate your style from? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Where, where you get this shit from, from, bro? He said, he said, hold on, bro. You playing. Where you get this shit from? Man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, you know, when I was 
uh, Shorty, man, I had grew up on a lot of the oldies and, and players, stuff like that. So it's like, you know, I was in the club one day, bro, and I was listening to the music, and it was like, shake that and give me that and shove that down your throat and <laughs> all this shit, you know what I'm saying? And I was just like, man, I got kids at the crib, you know what I'm saying? I don't want them to hear me talking like that, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. So... But you, you know, know they're gonna grow up and do that. I mean, shit, I, I, yeah. I know, I know. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey well, I know, I, you, you know, know what, man? Fat, hold on, because I don't know if you got boys or you got girls. I got girls, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so well, you don't want them to do that shit. Because yeah, I, I got I girls at the crib. I don't, yeah, yeah, man, I can't really, you know, in their path of life, you know what I'm saying? I don't really want to hover over them and just make it seem like I'm trying to control their life. So therefore, right, yeah. they be trying to do shit that I don't want them to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you know what I'm saying? If you shelter them too much, when they get out there, I feel like they ain't know what the fuck to do. It's like a cage animal. Yeah, exactly. yeah you know motherfucker, yeah, turn them loose. They gonna be out yeah. here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. so it's kind of like I want to guide they steps. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like kind of like just be there and let them know. You know, I'm there regardless. You know what I'm saying? Like through the ups and downs. And sometimes right. I might have to pull back and let them. You know, take that step on their own right. instead of being an overprotective parent and shit like that. But you know, um, as far as like this music shit, it, it like really take a toll on you. In your regular life and shit like that, especially like when you gone, like like my youngest daughter, like you know what I'm saying, she be shedding her little tears because she miss her daddy, you know what I'm saying. Right. I, right. I ain't seen her in, in like three weeks, you right. know what I'm saying. But it's it ain't because like I ain't doing what I'm supposed to do as a father. It's just you know you out here trying to find a better way for you. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Find yeah. that balance though, bro. Yeah, bro. We all trying to find that. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, look, I'm finna tell you bitches out there right now. He's out there. Oh, 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 like, oh, 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 here we go. Oh, like, no oh, shit, cause like shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I told you, you know, man. and uh, it's just like got, for, the, for the women or whoever. It's just like you know, like when a motherfucker out here and they trying to do what they trying to do. You gotta let them be. You know what I'm saying? You gotta let them be. You know what I'm saying? You gotta let a motherfucker make these moves. Hey, you know, because, because like, especially, like I said, if a motherfucker got a vision and a plan and a yeah. goal for the family, you know what I'm saying, with you included and making sure the kids straight, motherfuckers working, yeah. you know what I'm saying, they ain't cutting no corners nowhere, they ain't falling short nowhere, or none of that shit, you got to let a man be a man and make that move, you know what I'm saying, oh. and let that shit happen and you got to be yeah. a motherfucker peace, yeah. you know uh, what I'm saying, I, I for agree. sure. You know yeah, I definitely got peace. I'll say that, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to my family, you know what I'm saying? My kids, my queen, like everybody, like that's in the movement. <clears throat> I definitely got like peace, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody just definitely like show me support, love. You know, my friends come together, do whatever they can do to make things happen. And I feel like just because, you know, I finally like believe in myself. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I think the reason why I didn't make it so much in music because I didn't fully believe in myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hear a song, I make a song, I be like, that shit decent, but then I go hit, like, other rappers that's on, and I be like, I see how it affect people, and I be like, dang, I, maybe I ain't got enough. So what made you change that shit, bro? What made you feel like, yeah, you know what I'm saying, made you feel a little bit more, feel your music more? It was like, bro, at, when I got shot, it was like, shit, I ain't get that up. You know what I'm saying? Right. I wanted to live, you know what I'm saying? Right, I, want, right. I wanted to live, so it's like, how can I let something stop me? And that's, like, life-threatening. And I, like, chose to live. I'm still living, but I want to be rich and, like, make sure my people straight. You feel me? Right. And it's, like, it's something I'm good at. You know what I'm saying? Something I like to do. So it's, like, how could I let that stop me? You know right. what I'm saying? So I'm, sure. like, shit, you know, I'm, for once in my life, I'm going to give it, like, everything I got. Because I never did that. Like, I was, like, partially giving it some of what I got. You know what right. I'm saying? Then giving up. Then, oh, man, I'm back to the streets. I ain't making no money. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. and it's, like, I just went to the point, like, I just worked this job, and I just say every single dollar I had, like, every dollar, like, yeah, every single dollar. Like, I ain't had no crib, no home, no nothing, bro. I was just saving my money, mm -hmm. working three shifts, and I had, like, put it all to my music. And, like, we here now. That's it, pay off, yeah, my best nigga. Yeah, that's it, pay off, my nigga. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, and like you said, you know. <laughs> my boy he, CP, he was right there. Boy, broke. <laughs> hey, he know where he seen me, boy. Going to work every day, broke his head. Shout out to everybody on, you know what I'm saying, this nigga Jump Shot Live right now. Yeah, you know shout what I'm saying? Out shout out to all the shooters out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, you know, like, hey, you know, yeah, but, uh, opinion hated. Yeah, yeah, you already now, know. You know what I'm saying? Like Joe said, you know, well, matter of fact, like you said, you said you got shot. And, you know, for those who don't know, you referring to when, you know what I'm saying, you got shot in the neck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Doing the yeah. carjacking and shit. Yeah, yeah. You know That's saying? crazy, bro. You feel yeah. me? I ain't got shot in the neck, too, though. You feel Damn. me? I was a shorty, though. You know, I was Damn. four. Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't Damn, for real? Shit, yeah, bro. Yeah, how'd that happen? That shit, just going to the store, my nigga, and shit. That shit just, you feel me? They was shooting down the street. Shit, yeah. just happened. That shit was like a block away, so the bullet slowed down. And so when they cut bro. my neck, the bullet fell right out. 
Like Damn. I was listening to UG talking, you was like, how hey, your butter fell out and you like yeah. collapsed and shit, my yeah. nigga. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, you dude. know, you felt yeah, that, yeah, because yeah, yeah, it yeah. happened to you. Excuse me. It was more so shit, nigga. Scary to anything. Bro, you know what I'm saying? Niggas don't understand how scary like that bro. shit more scary than anything. You feel that shit a little bit afterward, but shit that's going on look crazy. Yeah. yeah. And you know what's so crazy? My homie here got shot in his hand, you know what I'm saying? And he used to always talk about that shit. Like, man, y'all still remember when, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, right. damn, G, like, you always talking about getting shot. You know it's over <laughs> with. It's done, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's like, shit, until it happened to you, and you like live it, you live it every day. Like, right. so anytime I'm in the car, I always look back. Anytime somebody walking past me, I always look back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Anytime I like grab my neck, I just automatically think about that time. So it's like, I know what he, I know how he feel now, you know what right. I'm saying, bro? Because it's like, shit, I went through the same shit. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. Like, you right. feeling. So how that shit happened with you, bro? You know what I'm saying? It seemed like you talking about like you got to look over your shoulder like motherfucker was on some aggressive that shit, shit with you. It was a contract, it, it was, man. I yeah, want to ask you a question jacket. about that shit, too. You yeah, know what I'm saying? But go ahead, bro. Man, basically, man, I was just kind of like in my glow at right. the wrong place at the wrong time. You know what I'm saying? I had a nice little whip. You know what I'm saying? I was in a little bins. You know what I'm saying? And you feel me? Me and my homie, we had uh, like traded whips and shit like that. And you know what I'm saying, niggas was just it was like it was like a little heavy carjacking shit going on at that time, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't really at that time, this time too. Like yeah, I don't yeah. even know what what year that was. That was uh twenty twelve. Twenty twelve? Yeah. So it was like it was like like me, like I say, bro, like I, I say in every interview, bro, I ain't got no enemies really like that. Yeah. I got haters, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course, that come with that it, my nigga. Yeah. That come with it. Yeah, but bless the haters, though, yeah, you know what sure. I'm saying? I, ain't, I mean, I, you doing something right yeah, out yeah, here, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, I think I'm, that shit more be like envy. It's motherfucking yeah, envy. Yeah. You feel me? But I want them to win, too, bro, yeah, you for know sure. what I'm saying? You feel I me? always say, you feel me? I want you to eat, just not at my table, my nigga. You yeah, feel me? Yeah, man. For sure. That, that's saying right there, hey. Yeah. That's saying right there is golden. Sure. I do want everybody to eat. I just don't want to eat with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel uh-huh. me? But like, yeah, with that situation, it was just wrong place, wrong time. Niggas was lurking, and I was lacking. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting at the stoplight, and I, I probably look sweet. You know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't paying attention. And shit, when they got on my ass, I wasn't even pay- I still wasn't paying attention. To- Music loud. I'm just living my life, bro. I ain't Chilling, got bro. no Chilling. enemies. I ain't think about this. Yeah. Come trying to kill me and no shit right. like for yeah. no car. You see that shit on TV, but I mean, I know it be happening, but like, I, you know, you feel me? Like, hey, man. Hey. But when it happened, you feel me? Hey. And I heard you got about that jam, too. You know what I'm saying? You drove yourself to the hospital and all that shit after yeah. that, right? Yeah, hell yeah. All the way to that motherfucker, like to the end. Right. Dying, yeah. coming back to life and everything. Yeah, yeah bro. Like, yeah, because like. My nigga, you been through some shit, bro. Yeah, yeah man. Like, like, ass nigga, my nigga. I appreciate yeah. it, bro. I appreciate yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's definitely guys playing out here. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know, I, I was seeing some of them things and. I'm like, you done been through a, a a decent amount of shit, you know what I'm saying? I also, you know what I'm saying, saw that you had a stroke and shit, you know what I'm saying, yeah. at, a, at a point in time, you know? Yeah. Like, explain that shit to motherfuckers real quick. Well, you know, <clears throat> growing up, I had, a, like, a, a, a small hole in my heart and a little heart murmur and shit like that, so I was having, like, a lot of seizures as a shorty, you know what I'm saying, like, a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I was seizing a lot, and as I was getting older, I started to seize more. You know what I'm saying? So um, one day I just had like a, a real bad allergic reaction. I was like, um, I don't know what the hell was going on, bro. Like I was I was just chilling. I got into an argument with some motherfuckers. And then all of a sudden, bro, I just woke up in the hospital. And then when I woke up in the hospital, like I couldn't move my arm, my leg. my Excuse me. My face was like down like this. Like my teeth was like separated and, and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, so, you know, um, man, I ain't going to lie. Like getting shot, you know what I'm saying? It was... <clears throat> it wasn't even as worse as that. Because when I got shot, it was like, ah, shit. You know what I'm saying? But when I had a stroke, it was like, I just imagine looking at your arm or something, and like you trying to tell it what to right. do, and it don't do nothing. It don't move. It yeah, don't. That had to be yeah, some scary you shit. Physically. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Man, that shit had to be some scary ass shit, bro. It was, bro. You know like, it was. You know, just to know like shit that you used to doing, you know what I'm saying, now you can't do for whatever reason. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? And not really understanding you know what I'm saying? Like, was that one of them type of situations where it's just like, you know, it could have been prevented or, you know, that that just happened, how it happened? Getting shot at the stroke. With the stroke. Uh, with the stroke, I don't think I could have prevented it because <clears throat> it was just so many um, episodes leading up to it that it probably was inevitable. Or maybe I could have because maybe if I weren't arguing with the person and shit like that, you know what I'm okay. saying? I was having a good day and a bad day, you feel me? So yeah. I... Maybe if I ain't get like my blood pressure up a little bit, maybe that wouldn't have happened. 
Uh, you know what I'm saying? that shit you saying? Yeah, it did. The energy yeah. tweaking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And you know, not to, you know what I'm saying, keep on being heavy, but you That's know cool. what I'm saying? Now the side of the stroke, you know what I'm saying? You also, you know, had a car accident as well. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> shit caught on fire and all that shit, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah bro. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, shit, nigga, it just seemed like, you know, whatever the reason that you still here is for a purpose. You feel me? Like, so, shit, yeah. yeah. You know, and the only reason I even asked this man about all this shit is because, like, I want motherfuckers to know that, you know what I'm saying, like, shit can happen. You know what I'm saying? At any given motherfucking time, you know what yeah. I'm saying? There ain't really no telling, you know, when things is going to come your way. Yeah. You can't prepare for some of this shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so okay, bro. that's why it's yeah. important for you niggas out here to be living y'all lives, you know what I'm saying? Like all that little shit y'all be worried about, you know what I'm saying? Stressing about this and stressing about that. That shit is stress and that shit will kill you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, my nigga. So, Facts. you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, ain't no point in crying over spoiled milk, you feel me? Like, yeah. You know, so you might as well just live your life to the fullest, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, like, and, and I want to say, you know, like, with all that shit going on, is that the reason why you took this music way more serious than probably yeah. what you did to begin with, yeah. you know? Yeah, bro, because I felt like, you know, God gave me a second chance, bro. Like, he, he gave me a second chance. I feel like music is, is, a, is a gateway to, like, really touch people, you know what I'm saying? Sure. In a certain way, you can either touch them in, in, like, a negative way or a positive way. Right. You know, and I just feel like with my music, like, you know, I done did so much stuff in the streets that, you know, like like we all have that I ain't proud of. Mm -hmm. And I feel like growing up, you know what I'm saying, my kids growing up, I don't want them to be like, oh, man, your daddy was a street dude and he did street stuff. And nah, you know right. what I'm saying, I want, I want them to be like, you know what I'm saying, man, your, your father made music, boy, changed the world. People was at yeah. peace and having a, a good time. Bro. Yeah, I want a real legacy, bro, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, I might not be like, all the other rappers that's rapping about the negative stuff, got a hundred guns in my videos and stuff like that. But, you know, for the people who want to wake up in the morning and get some money and get to the bag yeah, and right. you feel me, like, feel good, that's yeah. that's what I want to make, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I don't want to wake up in the morning being angry and being mad and shit, like, for what? Like, I'm blessed to even be here. I could have been gone, you know what I'm saying? Right, so yeah. every every second to me is a blessing. So I, I make sure I enjoy every damn second. Yeah, yeah, yeah boy. Grateful. Yeah. yeah. Grateful, so. Sure. Granted, yeah. niggas be pissing me off and getting on my goddamn nerves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie. You feel me? I do be having a snap sometimes. But yeah. then I come back to a comment like, I'm tweaking. I could have right. did something different. You know what I'm saying? So I try to be as calm as I can and as positive as I can because I just, I just wanted to come back. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, yeah. You know? And like, yeah, and of course on this music, he talking about getting that money, you know what I'm saying? He talking about getting them, you know, little women and all that shit, the cows, this nigga loves 750s, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Nice. Yeah, like, appreciate shit, it. you know? Nice. Yeah, like, man, shit. you know, hey, man, I ain't gonna lie, man, you know, like, I don't be wanting to gloat, it, you know what I'm saying? I just be trying to, like, just live my life, bro. I, I come from nothing, you know what I'm saying? I, my mother, you know, she did everything she could. Uh, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, straight. wait a minute. You not one of them rapping niggas that be like, I come from nothing, I get it out the mud, and your mama looking like, I'll whoop your ass. You said he my mama, about man, this we shit. was partners, bro. Like, yeah, like yeah. you know what I'm saying? When I was growing up, my OG yeah. was a strong woman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She had four kids, bro. You know what I'm saying? And she made sure everything was straight. She ain't date, she ain't do nothing. You know what, right. what I'm saying? So I had to hold it down, you feel me, as the oldest. You know right. what I'm saying? So if so, so, she's bro. at work, I'm cooking, you know what I'm saying? Or I'm at the crib with, with my brothers and sisters, you feel me? Until they got old enough to do what they could do, you know what I'm saying? Then we came together, you know what I'm saying, all together together, and we made sure we all were straight. But at the same time, she was like 10 her head, head NHIC, you know what I'm saying? All that, you feel me? Right. So, you know, shit, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? She'd definitely be like, what, one thing my mama going to say is, you know what I'm saying, we made it together. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We struggled. And we only struggled because she wanted better for us. And she didn't want to go out there and do no retarded stuff, you know what I'm saying, yeah. to get us a better way. She worked real hard for it. And it might have been slower. But as I got older and, like, people that I know that had it, you know what I'm saying, was spoiled and stuff like that, mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying, they, they life ain't like mine. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know more. I'm doing more. I can go out there and get it more just because of what she instilled in me. You feel me? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, right there, yeah that's bro. for sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So shout out Mama Shooter. You know what I'm saying? Mm, no Mama Dice, I should say. Because I know that <laughs> yeah, that bro. used to be your monarch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I probably said that shit fucked up. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah. you know, back in the day. But, you know. Yeah, like, yeah hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, like, and I also know that you trying to do the independent route. Yeah. 
You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so, you know, like with, with fuck the that label shit, man. Fuck that label shit, fuck bro. Fuck that yeah. label shit. Bro. Nah. Like, you know, because, like, there's a lot of motherfuckers out here who be talking that independent shit, but, like, you know, it seems like you really living that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I be looking at your videos, seem like you do a lot of that shit out in Miami. And my yeah. friend, who the fuck was Shorty that was in that motherfucking, uh, <laughs> what's that, that Finer Things video? She ain't even speak yeah. no English in that motherfucker. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, 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 so yeah, Your scenery yeah. be nice, too, though, in your video. Yeah, bro. yeah you know I appreciate it, bro. So, yeah, you know like, I want to ask you about yeah. your independent grind. And you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, what's, what's the difference between you doing your independent grind or would it ever be any type of situation you could think of that might want to allow you to think about going to a major at some point? I mean, honestly, if I went to a major, it'd have to be like an agreement with a company. I wouldn't want to sound like an artist deal or anything like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? It'd either be like a, um, a, um, um, like a distribution deal or something like that. Because it's like, I really don't need you to do anything for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, all my people. like And, and honestly, it's just not me. You know what I'm saying? It ain't it ain't just me. You know you what I'm saying? got a circle, bro. I got a circle. You know what I'm saying? And, and and you know what I'm saying? Like the main the main players on the team is like um my manager, Red Thorn Bands, you know what I'm saying? Uh my PR manager, Good Brother, my engineer, T Weezy on the beat, you know what I'm saying, my engineer Nanos in Miami, you know what I'm saying, my cameraman Blakey, you know what I'm saying? Like these are like the solidified characters, you know what I'm saying? My man Skeezy, and it's like all of them work together as hard as they can to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Right. Then I got my homies on the side, like, you know what I'm saying? My boy Vine, yeah, Luciani, Yado, Shando, Bands, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, all my guys, you know what I'm saying? They make sure that they do everything that they can. Right. You know what I'm saying? To like really put it together to make it happen. So if I need the scenery, they're going to put it together. If I need cars, they're going to put it together. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I need engineering, if I need the video, like, whatever I need, they make it happen. So all I got to do is really is just focus on rapping. Right, and making right. songs, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And, and on here, bro, we always talking about accountability. You feel me? Motherfuckers having accountability around you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Having that shit in yourself. You know what I'm saying? And having that circle motherfuckers around you, that come into it. That success and they everything. Do. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? You moving forward, evolving and shit, they come with your circle too, having accountability. It do, bro. They doing, like you said, they having them cars. If I call you, say you got that car, bro, I expect you to have that shit when I show up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. They don't play about me, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? My, my homies got Cotties and APs and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And they know me. You know what I'm saying? They know, like, right now, I'm just not going to do it right now because I, I want to take that and put it to the music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, like, my, my boy so strong with it. They're like, we got it. You got it. Throw this AP on right now. Throw that A. Hey, throw all the chains on my boy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? We brothers, bro. Right. We, we don't care about this shit. Right. Right. We was broke eating ramen noodles together. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, my homies, like, they like, Dice, this is what he want to do. Mm -hmm. Like, he believe in this. Right. So, like, they standing behind me like, shit, my homie believe in it, I believe in it too. You know what I'm saying? Hell and it's yeah. like, it's real strong. I just had to get, oh, like, I had to get rid of the people that didn't believe in me. Mm -hmm. you like, know people. The, you know them motherfuckers going to show, bro. Yeah. Not that wild, them motherfuckers going to come out. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Saying? Yeah. And it was like, it was people that I, I, like, was around me a lot that never helped me, bro. And it took people, like, that, w that wasn't even in my life as long as people that was in my life a lot to, like, show me something. Yeah. You feel me? And then it was like, damn. Because it's like people breaking their neck just for something that I believe in. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. that's why I don't take it for granted. Like, the people who are in my company, like, it's like, man, you got this much percentage. You got this much percentage. Like, ain't none of that, oh, I'm the CEO to, and all of this and the rapper and I get all this. And nah, bro, like. When I get to the top, bro, we're going to sit down with all this money. We're going to sit down. We're going to break this money together. Hell yeah. Together. Hell yeah, we're going to eat together. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah, don't yeah. matter if I was rapping because without them uh, setting appointments and without them, you know what I'm saying, make, making meetings happen and setting up interviews and podcasts and putting me on World Star and Vivo, mm -hmm. without them doing that, like, bro, I wouldn't be here. Okay. You know, right. so shit. So let me, me ask you this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, you know, matter of fact, we we just going to ask this, you know what I'm saying? Because there's probably some niggas out here who watching and they want to be a rapper or, you know what I'm saying, they been rapping, you know what I'm saying, but they ain't made it happen yet, you know what I'm saying? Like, what type of words of encouragement or advice you would get, you know what I'm saying, about this independent grind, you know what I'm saying? Man, number one, I'm I'm going to just say, like, you got to be ready to fail. Mm. You got to be ready to fail, bro. Fail... Failing in life is, like, the most best thing you could do. Hell yeah. You feel me? Hell yeah. Because it's going to teach you how to not fail again. 
You know what yep. I'm saying? And then you got to, like, believe in yourself. Like, no matter what. Like, I don't care how the eyes look. I don't care if it ain't looking good. I don't care who fall off the ship. Like, just keep believing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? How do a motherfucker believe in themselves? Because, like, you, you know what I'm saying? You've been through some experiences that could be, you know what I'm saying, kind of traumatic to certain people. I'm pretty sure, you know, it was traumatic. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, you turned that shit into a positive instead of letting that shit be in a negative and being scary. You know what I'm saying? Like, you dealt with those issues, you know what I'm saying? And now you turning that shit into something, you know what I'm saying? So, like, for the motherfucker out there who may not have the same type of mentality as you, you know what I'm saying, what can you say to them that might be able to help them get through them certain type of struggles in life? You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at brothers like me, for instance, and just brothers who went through my same struggle who made it, you know what I'm saying? Like, my testimony, Mm. everything that I'm saying, like, I'm saying this to encourage the next person like me who I sat back and watched other people make it. And I never thought I was ever going to make it. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. Like, I would just thought rapping was just something I was just going to be doing for play for the rest of my life. Like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't never think I would be here. And I'm not even, like, up there, up there now. But just to be, like, where I'm in right now, even if I made it this far, it's like... I can still be proud of myself, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, because, you feel me? Yeah. So it's like, you know, when you going through shit like that, that's what I looked at. I looked at people's success stories on TV and stuff, and I was like, wow, like, I didn't even know they went through that. Or I didn't mm-hmm. even know they suffered like that. Or I didn't even know that. And they still did it, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, surround yourself and, with, with visuals of people who made it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I looked at Jeff Benzo. Like, he started his mama's garage. Like, yeah. And speaking he, of Jeff that's Bezos, that's that, that's he, you know what I'm saying? He just Jeff stepped Bezos, down. Man. Bro. Hey, but Jeff Bezos <laughs> just stepped down as uh, CEO of Amazon as well yeah. a few days ago. Or how, whenever the fuck that shit going to turn out. And I don't even remember the guy that's going to take over. But, you know, you know, yeah, normally when you think about that shit, you'll probably think, like, it's some type of scandal or something coming up. But, yeah, you know, what he put yeah. out there in the public... Yeah. He was saying, like, shit, he just need more time to do other shit, and he's still going to take some type of little executive position. So he's still going to be there with the day-to-day. But he's just taking some time off right now, and that nigga got money, so I ain't okay. mad. I mean, I feel him, bro, because I said the same thing. You know, like, um, like my goal was to, you know, um, get on, make my mark, let you know, hey, I did it. I told right. you I was going to do it. Right. Right. And then allow other artists to do their thing. You know what I'm saying? Who didn't have a chance like me and get them like a cheat code. Fuck that. Come on, you good. Mm-hmm. So, you know, um, in the summertime, I had signed two artists. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I had signed um, Boogie Number 4. You know what I'm saying? Number he four. an artist that's about to come out. You know what okay. I'm saying? Shout out him. Shout out Boogie Number 4. four. And then I signed, I had signed my uh, my other artist. You know what I'm saying? Bo Guapo. You feel me? Uh, may he rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? He oh, passed damn. away. Yeah, bro passed away in a car accident uh, December 20th. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just and, recent, man. Yeah, bro. We just recently buried him. So, you know, that was, like, really devastating to the company because they, these was, like, my two headliners. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? I felt like they had it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I could sit down. They was humble brothers. They listened. I ain't had to argue with them. Right. They wanted to be a part of this. Like, you know what I'm saying? They, they loved it. You know right. what I'm saying? So it was like I knew they was the ones. You know what I'm saying? So, like, right. when I lost him, it kind of hurt me. You know what I'm saying? I kind of chilled a little bit on the music. You know what right. I'm saying? And, uh, like, I got videos. I got an album. It was supposed to come out. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of, like, didn't put it out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because it kind of hurt. My, Life my boy got in wasn't the way. Even, Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Think about shit. Yeah, hey, bro, did. See, like, that shit crazy because, like, you know, like, you know, like, I don't know if you ever had this feeling. But, you know what I'm saying? Me being on the outside looking in. You know what I'm saying? I always had that feeling that, you know what I'm saying, when it kind of entertainers, whether you're a rapper, ball player, actor, actress, or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? People don't look at you like people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They look at y'all like y'all some type of props yeah. or, you know yeah. what I'm saying, some type yeah. of shit yeah. like that. You know what I'm saying? Time. So, yeah. like, I feel like a lot of people don't understand that artists and rappers and whatever the fuck else got feelings, they got family. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they, that, my nigga. They, they deserve like privacy and, you know what I'm saying, all that shit. Like, I don't yeah, know yeah. if you, you know what I'm saying, at that point or got to that point, you know what I'm saying, where you felt that way. But, you know what I'm saying, have you ever had a situation where a motherfucker just treated you like you weren't human type shit, you know what I'm saying, just because of what you do? 
in a good way though, like not in a bad way. Like I remember I was uh going somewhere and um this little shorty, I was talking, mm-hmm. and he was like, Hey man, hey you jump shot shooter? And it kind of started me because, you know, yeah. I, I, to me, I'm like a regular rapper. Right, right, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, yeah, I still don't feel like I did nothing yet. <laughs> you feel me? So I'm like, yeah, why? You know what I'm saying? He like, I knew it was you. I saw you on Off the Porch, man. You, <laughs> hey, man, you call. I, I listen to all your music. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, dang. Like, yeah, I couldn't believe up, it. You feel yeah, me? That yeah. That shit make you feel good, though. Bro, he wanted that a picture. That make you appreciate yeah, your work, bro. it did, bro. It made me, ain't nobody never did nothing like that to me, yeah. bro. He wanted yeah. an autograph, a picture. I took a picture with him and everything, yeah, bro. bro. That's yeah, real, my love. And then what make it so bad, my homie went to the same spot. He called me crying laughing. Because he was like, he he called me, he was like, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy Rio, too. He, he called me, he like, man, bro, you was just up here the other, other day? I was like, yeah, why? He's like, man, some little show. He's like, man, I've been having a good day, man. I'm in the famous rap of the day, man. Woo, woo, woo. So he's like, man. man. Yeah, he's like, what's his name? Like, jump shot shooter. like, jump shot shooter. <laughs> he's like, he nice. <laughs> you feel me? Like, that shit was just, he called me crying laughing, bro. Yeah. I was like, dang, you know, so. Hey, that's what's up, man. Hey, that's yeah, what's man. What's up, boy? I can't wait till a motherfucker yeah. recognize hey. me. Yeah, like, but I ain't in it for boy. the fame, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? That shit gotta yeah. be a good feeling. It is, bro. That you trust you somebody. Ace, boy. Yeah. Ain't, see you. <laughs> ain't you Joseph? <laughs> 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 ain't you Joseph? Yeah, hey, that's nigga, that's the motherfuckers gonna be like, ain't you Ace, son? <laughs> 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 fuck you talking about? Glad, you know what I'm saying? Fuck you talking about, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shooter, man. Tell me how you feel about rappers in the city and shit, man, and loyalty, man. How that shit changed over the years. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It kind of hurt, you know what I'm saying, the way that, you know what I'm saying. Hola, mami. Um, oh, this nigga speaking Spanish. Oh, this is my Cuban yeah, people, man. Yeah. Hey, man, yeah. shout out to my Hola, Cuban come people. Come on, say llamo, me llamo, ace. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. What the fuck was that? Hey, <laughs> shit, nigga. Right. Right. He said his name was ace. Right, go so, ahead, yeah, come bro. on, say llamo, say llamo, ace. I thought you was bullshit, ace. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, nah, he, nah, he want he want he want bull crap. He said some real stuff. I gotta give it to him, shout bro. Shout out my nigga Ace. <laughs> hey, shout out my nigga Ace. You feel me? He definitely speaking that shit. Oh, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh my bad. <laughs> what you hey, asking? Like yeah, yeah, hey, we yeah. just be on here talking shit. Oh, you know man. what I'm saying, oh, bro? Uh, uh, yeah. So we just talk about man, the, uh, the rappers in the city, man, and how loyalty and change over the years. Oh man, I just feel like you know. Um, just all, all of Warren, it really like put a damp on our city and our pockets, bro, because it's like, we can't make money as an artist, bro, because it's so much killing going on and you got to pick sides. You can't make, you know, music with this artist. You can't make music with this artist. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, they not understanding that we ain't never had an opportunity for our city to like really shine except for the Chief Keith days. You feel what I'm saying? And when that was happening, we... Man, let me get a shot of that, brother. Yeah, My boy. I appreciate you. Right, go ahead and talk, bro. Oh, and like I was saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, and even when that era was going on, it was divided. You feel what I'm right. saying? Like, the city was divided, bro. We went together, like, you know what I'm saying? So, if you look at the other cities and stuff like that, bro, like, they making money, bro. They jumping on each other's songs. They yeah, supporting yeah. each other's music. They making revenue. And if they making revenue, the people under them making revenue. You're and right. if the people under them making revenue, the whole town is making revenue. Not everybody got a bag. Yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. eating, bro. Like, you, you said, me? everybody hopping on that shit because everybody, like, that certain set, they didn't want to listen to your shit. You feel me? Just because you hot and you the nigga from the hood. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And you, they bring that shit together. Like you said, my nigga, shit will be better, though. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? Shit so that's be better. better. Yeah, that's why I like, I want to do songs with like people and my artists, bro, because like me, I listen to Chief Keith, I listen to JoJo, I listen to Dirt. I listen to Louie, I listen to Bo Deal, I listen to Bump. You know what I'm saying? I listen to everybody in my city, bro. Like, like, everybody made a song I like, bro. Like, I ain't never been like, oh, I ain't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I was fans of everybody who made music in my city, bro. So it was like, especially like, like, Ty Money. Ty Money Cold. Yeah, very underrated, Ty bro. Money. Ty Shout Money Cold, bro. Guy. For real, you know bro. Saying? Like, like bro, Cold. Like, he, he very My friend Ty Money, bro. come holler at niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? Come chop um, it bro. up. But yeah. You know, so, you know, I just feel like if if majors came together, like major artists who like really doing something came together and we just like, I know we lost a lot. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Bro. I'm not saying that we are forgiven for what we lost. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying like, if we can go out here every single day, G, and forgive 
our land being taken, our name being taken. You know what I'm saying? Our whole way of life is spiritualism being taken from us. And if we can forgive that, but we can't forgive our own brothers for some petty ass money or some petty shit that went on or even wars that's been started that we don't even know who started the damn war. We don't even know if motherfuckers on the other side, you know what I'm saying, in, the, in these polices and shit started these wars. We don't know what the hell is going on. We just know a war started. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like we losing. We losing heavy. You feel what I'm saying? As black man as a whole. So it's like at, at some point, somebody got to say something. Yeah. And, and it can't be like, oh, we stupid. Y'all niggas stupid. It's got to be like, look, bro. Nah, I don't want to war with you because I love you. You my yeah. brother. I think I think brothers is like scared to say they love each other. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's so homophobic. You got to say like no homo before you say you. I love you, bro. No right. homo. You know what I'm nah, saying? Nigga, but that shit come me? with, you know what I'm saying, maturity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Maturation man. and all that shit. Cause like you know, like you know, like and then look, niggas love they niggas. You know what I'm saying? Niggas yeah. love they homies. So I don't think that's the problem. It's just yeah. the point. Like everybody, like nigga, I fuck with who I fuck with, and yeah. if you ain't who I fuck with, I don't fuck with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. all it is. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't no love out here. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Cause so. like you know, like what, what, what we was just touching on. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you know when you got niggas out here like Vaughn and and Duck. And you know what I'm saying, JoJo, and you know what I'm saying, Lil Pappy, you know what I'm saying, or you know what I'm saying, and whoever the fuck else, you know what I'm saying, it's just like, you know what I'm saying, that's a L for the whole motherfucking city. It is, bro. You know what I'm saying? It like, is. it don't it matter is. if you on this side or that side or is. somewhere in the middle. Like, shit, it's just a point, like, as a whole, like, it's a L, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Because them motherfuckers, that was on, they was out. You they know was know holding it down for our city, bro. Yeah. I know, I know the energy was like, not the right energy. Right. You know what I'm no, saying? No, man, no. You feel me? No, that brought the wrong type of energy to us, though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, That's you know. That's what I'm saying. That shit done changed over the years. Like, it hurt me we lost them brothers, bro. Like, I don't yeah. even know them personally, but it hurt me that that we lost them brothers. Like, yeah. It hurt me that any brother get lost. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I can't be like, like that's why I don't like when people be like, oh, I'm smoking this pack, smoking that pack. Man, that's somebody's son. Yeah, that's, bro, that's somebody. Stupid, you feel me? That's somebody's somebody daddy. Brother, sister, oh, daddy. Brother, and they like, did, bro. Leave them yeah. alone, bro. Yeah, they bro, gone, like bro. Shit, it's, like, it's like being a bully or something. Yeah. So it's like, in my music, bro, you don't really hear. Like, I ain't going to lie to you. I do let you know what will happen if you fuck with me. Right. You know what I'm saying? You feel should, me? My nigga. You feel me? On G. But hey, it's Lil like, Wayne say real G's moving sounds like lasagna. Yeah. You know like, what I'm you saying? You ain't finna see me like <laughs> rap beefing Goofy with niggas. Nigga. And, hold you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, it's a beef. Oh, they beefing. Real G's moving sounds uh, like lasagna. <laughs> hey, that's what Wayne said. <laughs> nigga, but that's man. where he getting at. You feel me? Like, shit, you ain't got to talk about the shit you doing. Don't, you ain't got to tell niggas all your moves out here. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to let a motherfucker know, though, if you fuck with me, then that's what's going to come with it, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like, shit. talking shit or nothing, or. Nah, it ain't talking shit, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like, when it's time to move, you move. Oh, like, for sure, for sure, like, bro. Like I said, you know, niggas would get on the motherfucking internet and be like, shit, yeah. nigga, we outside, and, mm, bro. you know what I'm saying, we over here, and I ain't <laughs> seen niggas. niggas shot, yeah, yeah. I mean, and it, like I said, you know what I'm saying, real niggas moving silence like lasagna, yeah. real G's. You feel bro, me? I got to get, I just, I just got to give a shout out to my Cuban people, man, because Bro, they support me so hard. I ain't, Cuban bro. People, bro. Bro, my people from Cuba, bro. Like, when I shot the Finer Things video and the uh, right. jet lag video, yeah. you know what I'm saying? My people from Cuba, my like, my rate with the men and women, the percentage was way higher of men than women. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But ever since I shot Finer Things, you feel what I'm saying? It went up on the road. The women yeah. is, like, right yeah. under the man. The women, you know it's, like, 40%. They like that shit, bro. And I'm I want to ask you, like you that, about that Miami. Shit, nice. Yeah, hey, it's I'm taking off on Spotify, that. too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, now, sister, hola, mama. You know what I'm saying? And now Miami, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, it seems like you shoot a lot of your shit out there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, so... You know, do you feel like it's important for motherfuckers that's inside the city to move around and rotate? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, or, man. you know, and if you yeah. do feel that way, like, why Miami? Because, you know, there's a lot of motherfuckers who fuck with Atlanta or they might go yeah. to Houston or some <laughs> shit like that. Yeah. So what is it about Miami that got Jump Shot Shooter <laughs> attention? You feel me? Man, bro, it's like, it was just a vibe, bro. Like, mm. like, for instance, when I shot the jet lag video, like, for instance, okay, when you out here in the land, right, and you tell people you rap, they be like, okay, what else you do? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When I was in Miami, bro, and I was shooting that jet lag video, bro, like, people was coming up to me, bro. You would have thought I was signed. 
yeah. they was coming to me like, bro, who are you? Can I follow you? Can I take a picture with you? And it was like a lot of people, bro. Like they surrounded me. Like people were just getting into videos and just showing love. That's and it was just dope, everywhere bro. I went, bro. Like people was like, you a rapper? Oh man, let me. Can I take a picture with you? Like, and I was just like, and then I come back home, and then people just like. Oh, this man. So is the, is it just that energy that's in the land, though, bro? Yeah, that's just bro. Like, man. It's the energy, bro. Like, like you know, it, it, look at my really people go. from Cuba. They already saying family. You know what I'm saying? That's my family <laughs> right there. You feel <laughs> me? Like, yeah. Like, bro. The motherfuckers, they don't show love, man. Nah, bro. They like La that familia. Shit, right. That shit, all right. Yeah, yeah that, that shit fake decent. Yeah. 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 So, do you think that's more like a? Uh, you know what I'm saying? You at the crib type of deal, or you just think that's like some Chicago shit? You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I, I love think, that motherfucker showing love. Man. I think it's some Chicago shit because I get love mm. in the city, bro. Like, mm. I get love now. Like, at first, I wasn't really getting love like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't in everybody's lane. You know what I'm saying? Like, people wasn't really, excuse me, adapting to my lane like that. You know what I'm saying? Because when you hear like other people's music, it's like, they're better your bitch and your hoe and your. I don't rap like that, bro. Right. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So people don't really want to hear that. You feel yeah. me? Especially when you're doing pills and drugs and shit like that. Yeah. But as time progressed and I started like forcing myself on people, you know what I'm saying? They like, wait a minute, dude kind of talking something. Right. Let me let me hear what he's talking about. Yeah. So now it's like, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? I got my lane. Now it's like everybody fucking with the lane. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like in the city, you gotta, you gotta, when other people start loving you in Chicago, then you know, your people start loving you. And that's what it really is. Because, like, when I went to Miami and, and, like, Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, and shot them videos out there, and they seen how much love I got in a city that wouldn't even mind. And when I came back home, I was like a hood hero. You know what I'm saying? And like, everybody like, that's damn. Fuck with you. you feel yeah. me? Like, okay, he doing stuff. So it's like, people ain't going to believe in you till you believe in you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's deep, my nigga. Yeah. Yeah, when I was half assed nobody want, don't nobody want to hear you, bro, trying to do some shit, and you, don't even, you ain't even doing it right. Bro. But when you out there doing it, and and you and and you like man, you making it look like they it look like you like giving your all to this shit. People ain't got no choice but to be like, well, damn. So like shit, when you say like when it look like you giving your all into this shit, do you mean like when it look like you selling niggas dreams? You know nah, what I'm saying? That's what niggas carry buying confidence, to it. bro. Like no, nah, not even that. Just when you see work, like like for instance, me doing this podcast. Right after I just left Texas shooting a video. You know what I'm so, saying? Yeah. Right after that, I just did some other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm consistently working, working like this bro. a real job. So when you see yep. shit like that, it's like, nah, he doing something. Like, yeah, he yeah. ain't just playing so, no games, bro. He's no basement rapping shit. You know what I'm saying? Up, being dude. consistent. Yeah. Being persistent. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. That you means, that like, shit, keep yeah. on doing what you're doing. And, like, do you feel like it's a cap on... You know what I'm saying? When when niggas is doing certain things in life. Because, like, you know, like, we were speaking before we started rolling. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know, and it just seemed like when it come to rap, hip-hop, you know what I'm saying, and whatever the fuck you want to call it, you know what I'm saying, it seemed like it's a cap on, you know what I'm saying, when niggas can get out here and do certain type of things. You know what I'm saying? But, like, in other, in other type of genres, like rock and roll and whatever, you could be motherfucking... 70, be Bon Jovi or some shit, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucking Mick Jagger or something. And you can still get out here and do what you do, you know what I'm saying? But it seemed like, you know, when it come to this rap shit, motherfuckers want to put a cap on it, you know what I'm saying? Like, how you feel about that? Man, this rap shit hard, bro. Like, I ain't going to lie to you. Like, it it ain't no easy game, bro. Like, it's a lot come with it, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of hate come with it. And then, like, you know what I'm saying? When you when you like an artist, your whole mode of making music is to, like, impress your peers, mm-hmm. to make them want to come back and listen to you. So that plays a lot in your confidence. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You might not be as confident as you want to be because you might feel like, damn, man, I ain't making the right songs. Or, mm-hmm. man, I might not make it because, or, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot that play into that, and it could break your confidence, especially, like, say for instance, you go around, right, and you play your music to your people, and they like, but then you they play some other music, right? Put some future on or something. They like turn it up and shit. And automatically you be like, <laughs> hey, that's shit funny. Yeah. Hey, that's shit be oh, funny. Bro, shit. Yeah, right, yeah, but, yeah, but check it out though. Uh-huh. You'll go around some people that you don't know. And you'll play that shit. And they be like, God, this shit cold. Who is that? Oh, yeah. You feel that's me? That love. That's that and you'll be like, love, damn. Bro. I just was finna give up on this shit. Yeah. It's a lot, you know what I'm saying? So it's like you got to, that's why I say you got to have that confidence, bro. No matter what nobody say, no matter if somebody said, like, that shit ain't even really all that hot. Like, I love it. Forget right. you. Because once you start, like, really loving your music, you will really start making music. It'll sound like you love it. 
what I'm saying? It won't sound like you writing it on the paper or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because you really love it. You feel what I'm saying? Then people will hear you. And then when you like, like when you really love music, you putting feeling into it. And like when people who really put feeling into it, you can feel them when they rapping. You can feel that shit. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like once you get that part of it, like you just feel it. It is nothing to you to feel it. It's over, bro. Can't nobody stop you, bro. But you got to find that part of you. Right. Hell yeah. If you don't and, find that part, you ain't gonna make it, bro. Them. And fuck what they gotta say too, my nigga. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's how it go, man. You get love from motherfuckers that don't know you before another motherfucker that yeah. knows yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? Just we... because people take you for granted. And I know one of them forty eight laws of power, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I don't remember which law it was, or you know what I'm saying, I don't remember that shit verbatim, but I know absentee grows the heart fonder. You know what Definitely. I'm saying? So when you constantly around and you in motherfuckers' faces, people take that shit for granted. You know they what I'm saying? Sometimes do, you got to move the fuck around. So that might be the reason why people that don't know you accept you quicker than a yeah. motherfucker that know you, see you on a yeah. regular basis. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, sure, especially when you out here trying to be an artist or something and you local. You know what I'm saying? So the local people would take you yeah. for granted. Like, nigga, they, oh, that's just uh, whoever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, you go somewhere else, like, man, that's that nigga. You I know what I'm saying? It, bro. Yeah. You know? So, you know, know. You know, one, one person that's like, that like, I can honestly say like, because in the industry I learned like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how people like, when people are like in a higher place, they kind of treat you a certain way. Mm. But it's like one, it's like one artist, you know what I'm saying? Like he really showed me like love, like a brother. Like he wasn't no different, changing nigga, funny nigga. He was like a cool brother. Uh, I just did a song with my boy King Louie. Okay, you know what I'm shout saying. Shout out Louis. Shout, shout out, out King Louis. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, hey, what that nigga been on, man? Ain't, he ain't dropped nothing in a minute, man. Hey, man, bro, bro got some heat coming. You know what I'm saying. Uh, but like everybody else in life, you know what I'm saying. Like, you know, you gotta take care of your family. You know what I'm saying, and make sure that type of shit is right. Especially after getting shot and shit like yeah, that. You know yeah, what I'm saying. That's you, what I'm saying. You take like, a step yeah. out of life and just reevaluate your life and shit like that. But bro got some heat coming. Like I, he yeah, let me hear yeah. some. He let me hear some shit he was coming with. Bro, he coming with some heat, heat, heat. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. like he's just waiting on the right time to just, uh, and then when Drop he do, that hey, shit. Yeah. hey, you know, yeah. King Louis, he one of my favorites. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that came right. out of that whole right. Chief Keef and you know what I'm saying? Whoever the fuck else ever. You know what I'm saying? Louis, one of them niggas that I fuck with. Yeah, you know, I don't know how it really go, bro. So when I came yeah. to the studio, you know, I was kind of nervous, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? This is a Chicago legend, you feel me? And I'm just me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So when I came in the studio, bro, he ain't treat me like, oh, yeah, I'm Louis and you just you. He like, bro, what we on? What we got going on? Let's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hit the road. Hey, but see, you like, me? you know what I'm saying? No lie, you can learn a lot about a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? How they yeah. treat somebody. Yeah, how they carry themselves. First yeah. impression, You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I know you hear a lot of people say, like, man, I treat everybody like, you know what I'm saying, with the ass the same. You know what I'm saying? It don't yeah. matter if it's the motherfucking janitor. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to treat that nigga the same as I'm yeah. going to treat yeah. the CEO. The boss. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And that, that shows a motherfucker's character. You know what it I'm was, saying? Bro. Now, I know this business oh, cutthroat. You know what I'm saying? I know this shit cutthroat. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. But at the same time, like, you know, we all got to treat motherfuckers with respect yeah. out there. You feel me? I ain't going to lie to you. The Chicago artists just showing me love. Just like uh, like when I did the little song 147 Cowboy. Shout out and Cowboy. Shout out Cowboy. You What's know up? what I'm saying? When I met him in Atlanta, bro, he had like a little walkthrough. And you know what I'm saying? The security was tripping. You know what I'm saying? He was already kind of walking through. Bro stopped. You know what I'm saying? He stopped right there. He looked back. He said, Red Shooter, all your people in? You know what I'm saying? He looked back and we was like, that's the last person right there. He said, hey man, let that let him in right there. Make sure all his people in. Right. And then he that's walked. Love right there, and I was man. like, that's how I'm gonna do my that's shit. Love, like, I learned right from both shit, of them, bro. Shit, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is like when motherfuckers travel out of town, because it go back to what we was talking about earlier, you know what I'm saying? With the losses, some of the yeah. artists that we yeah. had. It's just like when niggas is out of town, like, you know what I'm saying? I remember it like how it used to be like, if you got a problem okay. with a motherfucker. But yeah. if y'all in another nigga neighborhood, or if y'all niggas out of town and y'all bump heads with each other, yeah. like niggas is gonna make sure we good. You know what I'm saying? Like regardless, okay. like it don't matter what we got going on, but just from the front, just from the purpose that we from the same land, we gonna make sure everybody get up yeah, out this. We ain't jam. gonna let nobody fuck with us. You feel me? Hey, real talk. Okay. Now it just seem like. It ain't like that at all. Ain't no unity. Yeah, no, you know bro. what I'm saying? Yeah, and then, for they self, G. Yeah, and then like yeah, when it, it get to that point, it's just like, okay, do you feel like that's a lot of the reason why we don't have some type of infrastructure here for artists? That's the main reason, bro. Because 
you know, everything is going off of influence, you know what I'm saying, or what the, what the labels want. The labels want murder and chaos because they think that's what sells. That shit you know sells. Yeah. It do sell. You shit feel sells. me? Exactly. So Sex. Art, yeah, sex, sex, murder, mayhem. violence, all that shit. Yeah, so right. that's why, you know, artists are coming out of their cells to impress the people because that's what is paying, you know what I'm saying? That's Opposed true. to me, you kiss my ass, you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to yeah. make what I want to make. Because I'm going to put my own money. I don't need you to put me on no platform yep. because I'm going to save up the money and get it myself. Or me and my homies going to come together and we're going to put the money together and we're going to put ourselves on the platform. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you got to start showing these people that you can do things. When you come for a handout like fans, if we out here marching every single day begging people who never gave us nothing for something, how you think they looking at us? Right. These goofies, I'll, give me that. Yeah. Oh, sure. come on, march for it. Ah, look at them marching. They lock them up. But then we could go see other people going to Capitol and storm that joint with That's guns up, and bro. all that shit. Now, yeah. I ain't saying storm the Capitol or nothing like that. I'm not promoting violence. But what I'm saying is, is that if we start educating ourselves on certain values of, of self, you know what I'm saying, that we could be in a better position. You feel what I'm saying? Hell yeah. And we need people to be on a certain platform, you feel what I'm saying, to speak and shit like that. And I feel like, you know... Um, by me making the type of music I'm going to make, I feel like it's going to shake something because there's people scared out there to just make regular music. They feel yeah, like they yeah. got to make a certain type of music in order to make it. So if I make it and I, and I make a spark for people who make music like me, you feel what I'm saying, it's going to show like not only, you know what I'm saying, am I, am I, I'm in my 30s and I'm making music and you can't tell me shit because I'm going to still do it. But at the same time, I'm making the type of music I want to make yeah. and I'll get on this platform on my own. Wow. Didn't nobody help me. Didn't no label help me do nothing, bro. This took blood, sweat, and tears, like real work. Like, people don't even understand, like, bro, I don't sleep. I be up, I sleep. Everybody who really, really know me, they know I eat to sleep like one or two hours every single day because that's what I heard that it takes for a, a person to be a millionaire. You know what I'm saying? You got to have five to seven incomes and you can only sleep from two to three hours a day, maybe two hours a day. Maybe sometimes you don't sleep. But if you really want it, once you... Once you achieve the goal and you run through the finish line, then you can sleep for like maybe yeah, a, a yeah. week or something in Cabo or some shit like that. You feel me? But until then, when that shit over with, yeah, so, it ain't over with yet though. So, do you feel like motherfuckers celebrate? You know what I'm saying? Too early. Like motherfuckers be out here having all these celebrations, but ain't really accomplished shit. Yeah. Like motherfuckers ain't did shit, but every time you look up, motherfuckers out of town. Mother, like, which ain't shit wrong with it, so don't think I'm yeah. on no hater shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, it's just like, why everybody outside and motherfucking eating here and eating there? And you know what I'm saying? You on the motherfucking whatever. You got the rental car, and you were, you in Miami this week. You in L.A. this week. You in Atlanta this week. You in Houston this week. Like, and you doing all that, and you come back, and then you go to your job, and you ain't did shit else, or you ain't got nothing to show for that Cause shit. Because life's short. Yeah. I mean, you never know. Motherfucker died tomorrow saving all their money and never seen none of that shit. Hell no, never yeah. get a chance you feel to spend me? that shit, bro. Never but see, that's the nothing. thing, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's that's my thing, you know what I'm saying? It's just like motherfuckers is living for the moments, but nobody yeah. is thinking about the future. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I, yeah. like I know life's short, and motherfuckers want to have fun, yeah. and motherfuckers need to live that life and all that other shit, but at the same time, when your ass turns 60, and your grandkids out here, yeah, and you don't spent all your bread. That's facts. You know what I'm saying? That's true. That's you true, know what I'm saying? Now you, now you trying to wait for your your little nephew to motherfucking make the league so you can get up out of whatever the fuck you living in, yeah. or whatever the case is. Or you like, yeah, and like my my son That's finna facts. be twenty, and you know what I'm saying? He he rap, so uh, my son probably gonna make it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you know, it's just like, it. what you gonna do? To provide that next, you know what I'm saying, motherfucking wave of shit, you feel? It it, it, come, yeah. it stems from a lot of, you know, influence. You know, we ain't have the right influence. That's why I say, mm -hmm. you know, life is short and people just want to live. I feel like our people have been down so long, you know what I'm saying, yeah, been through yeah. so much. When they get something, you know what I'm saying, it's like, man, they feel like they worked hard for it. they like, man, I'm going to enjoy this because I never had nothing. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Bro. Some people out there that had something, but like, for some people that had nothing, they, they forget the longevity because for so long of longevity, all they've been seeing is like struggle. Right. Yeah. So it's like, so like your family get a chance to get yeah, it. Yeah, they like, it's like I just want to enjoy the moment for a second, then I think about all the responsible shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Opposed to some people, they just don't care. They just live in life for the moment. You know what I'm saying? And them the people that you don't expect them to do anything. You don't expect anything out of these people because if you see they pattern, 
you can see how they, you know, consistently do certain things mm. that is irresponsible. You know what I'm saying? So you can't even get mad at those type of people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You see they living, living, man. That's know? just experience they go through, yeah. though. Hey. You feel me? When Definitely. motherfuckers just in that moment. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of like a nigga. You shit. feel me? Like you said, Ace, motherfuckers don't. They always living in the moment, don't think about the future. I'm a type mm. of nigga, bro. I just kind of enjoy the journey. You feel me? Yeah. That end goal be good. Where I'm going, it's always feel good. But that journey of getting there feel even better. Right. Just knowing the shit that I've been through and the, the shit that I overcame. Hey. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. That's what that shit about with me. Yeah, and me, I'm a nigga that's kind of like in the middle of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've been a nigga that been living in the moment all my motherfucking life, and now I'm starting to get old, bro. Like, yeah, I got a yeah, daughter so. now, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, yeah. nigga, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, so he old, yeah, he I'm, yeah, I'm down there 40. <laughs> like, shit, nigga, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'll be 37 <laughs> right. in June. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn, like, real, I'm 30, I'll be 37 in June. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just now had my yeah. first baby. You know what I'm saying? Well, at least the first baby. Congratulations. Know, uh, you know what I'm saying? And, oh, he might have but, another one. Yeah. 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 No, I got another one. Like, my daughter be two in April. You know what I'm saying? And I got another one that's due in May. You right. know what I'm saying? But now, you know what I'm saying? Yep, I'm at yep. the point where it's just like, nigga, I ain't just living for them certain type of moments no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make sure motherfuckers is good for the long run. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's just like, nigga, I work, 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 work. Yeah, but yeah. I always Real been tough. working for another motherfucker. I ain't never worked for myself before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm trying to do. Because like, even if I don't get to where I want to get to, I just want this to be an encouragement or a motivator for the people after me, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, bro, we punching the clock when we come in here. Yeah. You feel me? You know, like uh, we yeah. said, bro, we appreciate you coming in. We snowing and shit, bro, I appreciate sliding it. and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You feel you know me? We punching the clock. I definitely, I definitely got low pros, man. Yeah. I was sliding, man. But yeah, you know, yeah. um, this is my company. This is my business, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, if I was to work for somebody else, regardless of what was going on, I would still have to come to work. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or I would be getting fired or I will be getting written up or something eat, like bro. that. I got to eat. eat. So this is my job. This is my company. And just realizing, like, that's why I say believe in yourself. Like, if you start a company, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to manifest it through yourself. You are yeah, your company. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you are a representation of your company. Now, say, for instance, I ain't never even called y'all back and all that type of stuff. Never even reached. Like, how y'all going to view me? Bro. I'm just like, hey, that, hey, look, see, but look, I'm not the type of nigga that's going to talk shit, but right. at the same time, <laughs> when I talk to Joe, I'm be like, this nigga was on some bullshit. <laughs> You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it might be a little harsh in the name, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? We ain't even got to worry about that because you made it, bro. Thank you. you know I appreciate what I'm it. Yeah. Like, and like, I just appreciate that because, like, regardless of what you thought of this platform, yeah. it's the yeah. point that you still put forth the effort For to sure, be here. Brother. Yeah, no. And I appreciate, yeah, I appreciate that. It. You know what I'm saying? Likewise, yeah. man. I mean, shit, y'all, y'all some good brothers, man. I mean, honestly, you know what I'm saying? Like, Y'all don't know how much appreciation that I, I come in here and y'all know my music. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. know what I've been through. So, you know what I'm saying? Just for y'all yeah. to research the work that I'm putting out there. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? For y'all to even know it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, to me, like I say, bro, I'm still paying bills. I'm still trying to do what I got to do to maintain right. what I got to yeah, maintain. Bro. So, it's like just the fact of people even, like, you know what I'm saying, taking out the time to view me. And stuff like that in a point where I'm like, damn, I got to pay my rent and stuff. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, yeah, feel you feel me? Saying, and people yeah. like, man, you a superstar. Yeah. You made it. It's like, it, it, it's, it, it bring a lot of joy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. You feel me? Like, yeah. straight yeah, up. Yeah, Respect, bro. But that, yeah. all that hard work, bro, that shit show, my nigga. That's all yeah, it is. That shit you show yeah. and it's That's because you off. working hard, my nigga. You, you doing what you got to do that you still yeah. that nigga, bro. We I always say, it. nigga, we average niggas. Yeah. You feel me? Average regular niggas. We still got to pay rent, niggas. Still yeah, right. You know, yeah. No matter what level you, you on, feel you me? still yeah. got to pay them bills. Still, but you still, you got to clock in for yourself, though. You know and my boy saying? say, shout out to y'all, man. Shout you know what I'm saying? He say, how can he follow y'all page? Oh, shit. shit. You know what I'm saying? Opinion follow hated. us on everything. The Opinion Hated Podcast. That's right. Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. You yes, know what I'm saying? All that shit. YouTube, for sure. Go That's to right. that YouTube, The Opinion Hated Podcast. For real. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know what I'm saying? Before we he get to the bitch five. ass nigga of the week. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? Before yeah, we, we got get the to bitch the bitch ass nigga of the week. Y'all got bitch like, ass nigga yeah, of the week. Hey, bro, say he got nigga. it too. He following y'all right now, man. That's yeah, up, for sure. Love, Res bro. Hey, respect, hey, respect that man. shit. You know what I'm saying, motherfucker? Hey, and when you follow the YouTube page, yeah. leave a comment. 
You know what I'm saying? Leave your Instagram or something, and I'm going to follow you back or something, bro. Yes, sir. Yeah, you know bro. Hey, I appreciate y'all for following my boys, too, man. Yes, my sir, people bro. don't play about yeah, me, bro. Yeah, they be yeah, jumping yeah. on, you know? Love, you yeah, feel man. Yeah. Yeah. Opinion yeah. Hater Podcast, you feel me? Opinion yeah. Hater Podcast. Yeah. Make sure y'all tune yeah, in, yeah. man. And we put that shit on everything, bro. Fun on everything. He's on everything. He's crazy, right? Every week. Hey, you got some crazy shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we got some bitch-ass niggas. Nah, but, like, no, before we get to that, like, I wanted to ask you, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what is the definition of success to jump shot shooter? Um, the definition of success to me is like, you know, a happy life. You know what I'm saying? Like, my children good, my friends good, my family good. You know what I'm saying? Me getting closer to the most high. You know what I'm saying? Me having a peace of mind. You know what I'm saying? Just me looking at all my accomplishments that I did, you know what I'm saying? I could look back and say, like, hey, man, I did I did that, and I did it I did it the right way, and, and then nobody helped me but the people who deserve to help me in. Right. You know what I'm saying? Success is just, like, being grateful for, for what you have, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of the little things that you did, you should still be happy for it because it was success that you did it because you still had to get the energy to do it. Mm. Right. So, yeah, you know, yeah. the shit that we do in everyday life, we should be – Knowing that it's a, it's a success, you get up and go to work. You should be happy that you was successful enough to accomplish that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you take care of your kids every single day, you know what I'm saying. That's a success story that you did because people are even taking care of their kids. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, right. I feel like you know, just be just just being comfortable in what you're doing, man. It's, you know. Yeah. So and tell like, me, bro. Go on here, shit, bro. What's your what's your end game with this shit? You doing this shit for so long and investing. Where I you want to be? Ask that nigga. I was going to say, you know cause what like man? you know, what I'm saying over you here, we not we not them type of niggas that be like if shit happen. We oh. them type of niggas like yeah. when that believe shit happen. That shit. You know what I'm saying? And I know you that type of nigga too. Yeah. You believe in energy and the power yeah. of oh, yeah. words oh, and oh, shit. That's my shit. Call me a strategy man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what's your end goal, bro? Man, my end goal is to be a multi billionaire. You know what I'm saying? Um, and when I get to, like, being a multi-billionaire, I want to start, like, um, you know, uh, financial services that show, like, the youth how to, like, balance credit. And, you know what I'm saying, uh, just teach the youth, you know, uh, the builder blocks of the financial system. So when they get out here in the real world, they know how to, you know, balance their finance. They know, you know, the definition of credit and how to utilize it to get themselves to a point to own businesses and mm -hmm. stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I want to just create programs to, like, get people off the streets you know, and put them in jobs and stuff like that. So, you know, I want to, like, um, utilize, you know what I'm saying, what I got going on to better the world. You know what I'm saying? Sure, and do bro. my part and just the most high utilizing me to, like, you know, uh, just better the world and just, you know, help people out and just spread more love so that these kids can grow up in, a, in an environment, you know what I'm saying, of positive energy instead of negative energy. You know what I'm saying? Right. For sure, bro. Yeah. And you putting that shit out there, man, that shit going to come full circle too, my nigga. I appreciate yeah, it. That shit going to yeah, come back sure. to you, bro. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, with all that being said, we finna roll to the bitch-ass nigga of the week. <laughs> bitch! Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, this for that bitch ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? And this week, bitch ass nigga, the week go to the Rochester Police Department, you know what I'm saying? Whole fucking department. Uh, yeah, the Rochester, New York uh, Police Department. department. And you know what I'm saying? Like, we couldn't get the particular individual. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's a reason why they ain't put the names out yeah, there, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't know if we got an old story or if we ain't got the most recent story, but you know, like always, we base everything off pure nigga logic. Yep. And we bring y'all the details so y'all can do the research for y'all it's a world of but, information, man. you know, with this particular story, you know what I'm saying, it's about, you know what I'm saying, a nine-year-old girl who uh, pretty much had a situation with police officers. And, um, you know, the officers responded to a residence on Avenue B out there. So this ain't no Chicago shit. This it's ain't Rock no Avenue, New York. Avenue L type shit, no, you know what I'm no, saying, and no. nothing like that. But either way it go, you know what I'm saying, they approached the custodial parent, you know what I'm saying, so pretty much the mother you know what I'm saying? And they were saying the nine-year-old child that was involved in this situation was talking about, you know, she going to do harm to herself Suicide. and do harm to, you know, other people in the household before she ran away. Mm. 
You know, so I guess that parent decided they was going to call the police. And when the police arrived, it was two male officers at first. And they ended up being a whole gang of the motherfuckers out there. And even the woman officer got involved at some point. And, yeah, uh, you know, the whole time while Shorty out there, you know what I'm saying, the young lady was out there. You know, she was talking about she want to see her father. You know what I'm saying? Before y'all do anything to me, put me in the motherfucking handcuffs. Put me in the back of the squad car. I want to see my daddy. You know what I'm saying? And they kept on telling her, like, we going to call him and just get in the car, calm down. They ended up handcuffing her at one point. Yeah, she nine, you know what I'm saying? Like, nine. you know, and now Shorty was being resistant. You know what I'm saying? But she's a nine-year-old scared, girl. Bro. You know what I'm saying? And that could be a traumatic situation dealing with it when it comes to the police. And, you know what I'm saying? At one point in time, one of the officers said, like, you acting like a child. You know what I'm saying? And then nine year old girl said, I am a child. The fuck you mean? You know what I'm saying? Man, See, hey, you, you know what I'm saying? Bro? It's just like, and then like my question when it comes to that type of shit is just like, what would make an officer be like you acting like a child when you handling a nine year old girl? You know it's what I'm saying? That's stupid, bro. Yeah. We ain't, this, this ain't the um the first time we talking about Rochester um police department. Yeah. Feel me? Yeah. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? So it's just like you acting like a child, but you handling a child. Why would right. you even say that? You know what I'm saying? That made me question, like, when you look at black people, do you look at motherfuckers like they just niggas? Of course they do, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand something, man. The 13th Amendment is something that really hurts us. Man, when we're like saying? two-thirds of a person, So, correct? you know, that shit still stands correct. Yeah. And at the same time, when we go out here and we wonder why our brothers and sisters die, and they go to court and the, and the police officer get off paid pension and stuff like that. It's because we consider ourselves as black people and black and consider as the law of America is to be dead, deaf, bless you. Bless you you know what I'm saying? Or to be considered less as a man or less as a person. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the reason why we getting treated the way we are being treated is because of a label. And we are allowing ourselves to be a label. Yes, That's sir. why when we do the whole Black Lives Matter thing, it is not a movement for black people. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It is a movement to design and set up to put us in an engulfment and target us to be like a mob. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And when you look at it, we don't have any power in it. You know what I'm saying? And the police are set up and designed to police us. You know what I'm saying? For and sure, I hate bro. to say that. But, you know what I'm saying? like Hey, that's what, where it started from. Well, I'm supposed to be quiet. You know what I'm saying? Oh. If I see my brothers and sisters dying in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm supposed to turn my back and say, like, oh, yeah, because they're going to come get me and stuff like that. Yeah, they probably will. You know what I'm saying? But at the same well, time, I got to let my brothers and sisters know that, yeah, the injustice is going on because we have lack of education in the judicial so. system. Yeah. We have lack of education in Congress. We have lack of education when it comes to politics. You know what I'm saying? So... That's why they're allowed to do the things that they're doing because the lack of education that we have as a people. Yep. We think that going and marching is going to do something. No, us actually knowing the law, us actually being able to stand up for ourselves in a political view is the only way that we will be able to obtain what we need, and that's equality and freedom, is having education. For sure, bro. My nigga. Yeah. Hey. You know? Yeah. Hey. Jump shot motherfucking shooter in the building. You know? Y'all heard them bars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he ain't did no spitting because he ain't yeah. lying. You know what I'm saying? Bro, and it's it is, just bro. like, you know, like last week, you know what I'm saying? We, we played the clip with the little driveway cam. Shit, don't ever stop, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter what you doing out here, no matter where you at, no matter how much money you got, no matter whatever the fuck else, them, you still a nigga. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's 2021. And you the biggest threat to America, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Even though you see them white folks not that long ago, they was on Capitol Hill and they was yeah, tearing shit up and all that. Shooter, yeah. you just brought that shit up, my nigga. They, yeah. was, they was storming the Capitol. Yeah. 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 And, then and nothing little, happened. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And then that little nigga, you know what I'm saying, the little white nigga, you know what I'm saying, that was dressed like Buffalo Bill. Like, Buffalo shit, they Bill. let that nigga get some organic food. So oh, let yeah. Me, <laughs> but let me ask y'all a question, though, bro. Let me, ask y'all, let me ask y'all a serious question, bro. Yeah. Y'all play chess? Yeah. I played it before. I used played to be before? on the chess team in fourth grade. So when you play chess, you know what I'm saying, you got to move in five ways, right? Uh-huh. And not only do you move in five ways, you got to have a serious amount of patience, correct? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Okay. Strategy. Strategies. You got to be strategic. You got to make setups. You got to set your Heck opponent yeah. up and things like that, right? Mm-hmm. So let me ask you this question. How is it a, a, a coincidence that The Simpsons make a TV show mm. To something that happens in in real life, right. could that be a setup that they're uh, forcing a, a, an agenda, 
or could it be just a coincidence? Because I can't I can't just see like coincidence happen. Right. No. And I feel like in a program, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? For instance, when you're trying to program somebody or something, you have to keep putting things in front of their face in order for them to, you know, receive the program. And if you think Man. about the purge and, and walking dead and things like that, it kind of was a preparation. The purge. You feel me? Yeah, it was a preparation purge, for yeah. us to wear masks and be the way that we are now. For sure. And if you look at it now, like everywhere we go is a purge. You know what I'm saying? If you yeah. look at the, the stores right now, everybody got masks on. Anybody could do crime if they really wanted to yeah. because you don't know who is who. You don't know what's going on. So it's easy to get away with that shit too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and like you brought up the purge, like you remember that second purge, I yeah, believe yeah. the prequel. You know what I'm saying? When they was in the projects out in New York, and they was out there paying motherfuckers what five hundred, fifteen hundred dollars or something to go ahead and put the little chip in them. So or you yeah, know, you know, record them out here killing motherfuckers and shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's exchange for money. So you know, it ain't no different than when yeah. we start hearing them rumors circulate about like motherfuckers gonna send out another stimulus package if they take yeah. the but, vaccine. Yeah, you got to take that vaccine in order to get it. So I, I feel all like this shit agenda. propaganda, bro. I feel like everything be agenda, my nigga. As far as from yeah. the president to the, to the government, all there that it shit, is. My nigga. But it ain't just you know the Simpsons saying? either, my nigga. Because oh. like all these motherfucking movies, like shit, nigga. You remember shows like The Jetsons? You yeah. know what I'm saying? You remember motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? What's that shit with all them blue uh, motherfucking characters? Smurfs? Yeah, nah, nah. Yeah, well, nah. Not the Smurfs, but... Uh, Avatar. Avatar. Uh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Okay, and, okay. You know, whatever the fuck else. It's a lot and, of other shit, man. You know, like the internet saying, out man. here, and then I'm always the person that says, you know what I'm saying, reality ain't reality no more. Reality ain't real. Reality ain't real life. You know what I'm saying? It's a motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? It's like niggas is in the Matrix type shit. You no, know? it's exactly the Matrix. And if you ever know. watch the Matrix in a like in a in an awakening mind state, when you like really depicting it, you know, when you look at it watching it regular, it's a movie. But right. when you look at it in an open eye, you know what I'm saying, and you start to educate your body, you know what I'm saying, you'll start to see certain things like um as far as like the world that we live in, as far as like our temple. Our right. temple is manifested through energy. You know what I'm saying? And if you look in the matrix, the machine utilized our energy to um to uh, keep their selves living. You know what I'm saying? As well as like the evil energies of the world. You know what I'm saying? It uses our energy as a host to engulf, you know what I'm saying, all people to keep the negative energy going. Then when so you look at Neo, Neo, yeah, you look at Neo, Neo has to do everything with your neocortex. You know what I'm saying? Your mind state. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like when your the way your mind works. Your mind has what's called dendrites, and the dendrites take all the information to what's called your axon. You feel what I'm saying? And once you receive certain information, it, it, it differentiates what's good and what's important. You know what I'm saying? So your neocortex has everything to do with you becoming who you are because it is your mind. So when you understand your mind and your spiritual essence, you become the one. So when you go into Morpheus, Morpheus is your dream world, the dream world mind state that we live in right now. And you know what I'm saying? We have to Understand our Morpheus part of our mind state to waking up from the dream world that's been placed over us of all the vanity, the cars, the clothes, and all the the shit that we're not even paying attention to, like all our spiritual chakra, yeah. our chi, the universe. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the way our body works with astrology, astronomy. You know what I'm saying? The universe, the planets, things that we knew that we don't know now. You feel what I'm saying? As well as you know what I'm saying? Trinity. You know what I'm saying? The 28 stars in the galaxy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That goes everything with our spiritual essence. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, and everything. these are these are the three components, like you see it on my thing, because we are nine ether beings as melanated people. You know what I'm saying? No number being higher than that. You know what I'm saying? You can't times a number higher than nine. You feel what I'm saying? And when you look at our hair, our hair comes out what? Curls out into a number nine, showing that we are the highest part of the golden ratio. And if everybody go and like research the golden ratio, the golden ratio is the very number of the universe. It's, it's, it's the perfect number of the universe. And we are the essence of that number, the melanated ones. Mm -hmm. So we carry that melanization, you feel what I'm saying? And we don't even know the power that we hold inside. So at the end of the day, you feel what I'm saying? These people have a, 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 a stronghold of our mind state because the way that our mind works, our mind works in like an algorithm of computers. You know what I'm saying? This is how they got the source crystals to even make a computer mm -hmm. Off a melanated person's mind. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So at the end of the day, if I learn how to create a computer off of somebody's mind, then I know your mind. Right. So I know how to program you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And how they program us. Yeah, through television, influence. You know what I'm saying? They create a thug. And now the thug is the man to be. Just like if we broke that shit down and we created a black god or a black pharaoh or a black man to look after. You know what I'm saying? He will become the, the, the image of all black men. Yeah. Now the image of all black men is a thug. You feel what I'm saying? Is a man that everybody looks at right now in the entire world 
as a man to be ashamed of. So now it's shameful to be a black man. You know what I'm saying? Now, when you was uh-huh. a rapper, you used to the rapper was the voice of the voiceless. It was powerful to be a rapper. So what did they do? They took away the power of being a rapper and they surrounded it with vanity and materialistic shit and lust. So now it's damn near to be a clown to be a rapper. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm taking back the power of rapping. You know what I'm saying? I'm a father. I'm a regular man. I'm a person. You know what I'm saying? I laugh. I make mistakes. I cry. You know what I'm saying? I have joy. Like, you, you just kiss my ass. This is me. Yeah. Accept me or not. You live, You bro. feel me? Yeah. You live. You know Yeah. Man? You know? Yeah, man. We got to take that back. We got to take the power back of the image of who we are mm-hmm. as men. You feel what I'm saying? Because if we don't take that image back, the image will be ran for us and then the image will be portrayed how they want us to be. And if you can see it right now, how we look at man now, it's in a dicey beta position. It's not in an alpha male position. In any role that we play in movies, music, anything that we do, we are not on top of our game, and that shit got to stop. Yeah, bro. And you hit on something, bro. man, about the power of um, the number nine, man, numerology and shit, man. Yeah. Nine is always whole, man. It's civilized whole. Yeah. And for the motherfuckers that's watching, man, do something quick. Anything you times nine against, it add up. The sum add up to nine, bro. That's right. Nine times two is 18. Eight plus one is nine. You feel me? Nine times three, 27. Two plus seven is what? Nine. All the time, no matter what number, bro, you can throw out any wild-ass number. It's going to add up to nine. I guarantee you, Real talk. Because it's the power, bro. It's the balance, my nigga. And motherfuckers get in tune with that, you'll get in tune with your higher self. Yeah. You feel me? Your chakras, man. I'm oh, telling you, that shit is important. Your energy. Yeah. You feel that shit for a reason, man. That's why I start eating feel meat, you know? You feel me? Yeah. Oh, you stop eating meat, bro? Yeah, I don't eat meat. So what? So what you is you uh vegetarian? What I'm vegan? a pescatarian right now because I'm still trying to you know Fish keep the protein. Shit, right? your way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, I definitely don't eat meat, man, because right now you know the way that the way that the world is going, man. You know what I'm saying? We can't you know allow these people to pro- provide food for us. Not saying that the vegetables are not good as well, but I have a better chance with eating you know saying food to alkaline my body and be a spiritual food medicine because food is your medicine. So if you're eating donuts and shit and pizza and shit like that, you decalcifying your body. If you're eating plant-based foods and plant foods, then you're energizing your body. You know what I'm saying? You can do things throughout the day more. You know what I'm saying? You got more energy, more time to do shit. You feel me? I tried that shit, bro, but then I was like, shit, I want some meat, fuck. Oh, uh, some chicken, huh? Yeah, I tried <laughs> that shit. Hey, 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 everybody done tried that chicken, shit. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, that's I know. how it go. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I just want to say, you know, we, we going to wrap it up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, we sure. keep on talking. Safe, but you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. bro, like, look, you got to come back. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know what hey, saying? man. You know? I, I love it here, man. You it's got to come back, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to cut it short, but, like, we been yeah. here for a minute. Nothing wrong you with that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we running a little longer than usual. And, I ain't going to lie. Uh, I got to use the man. bathroom anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, like, hey. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you got some bars, you can drop those. You know what I'm saying? But, like, we'll do that. Like, motherfuckers going to take a piss and we going to come back. And, you know what I'm saying, do that other shit. But what I want to say, bro, like, shit, I definitely respect you coming through. You know what I'm saying? I I fuck with you coming through. You know what I'm saying? Like, you was just talking that shit. You know what I'm saying? And, like I said. real shit, man. Yeah, I appreciate it, You know what I'm saying? That's the type of shit motherfuckers need to know. And you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you know, the reason I be quiet is because, like, when niggas is talking, you let them talk. Yeah. You know what I'm I, I mean, I'm passionate about that shit, bro, because, you know, um, you know, just being a, a black man and just seeing, you know, how we how we out here losing and everywhere I go, you know what I'm saying? I hear our women, how they, how they crying for, like, you know, a better man, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you feel me saying, like, I be hearing people saying, like, oh, man, women be tripping. They saying they're independent. They don't need this. But it's like, gee, look how much women suffered. And look how they held it down for us. And yeah. the times that we couldn't, bro, we damn near got to honor our women. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, I man, feel respect, like that. That's know? why I feel like a lot of these younger generation of women be like, fuck niggas. And yeah. they like the new niggas because yeah. it's just like women been holding shit down, like you said, for black men for the longest. And niggas yeah. steady drop the ball. Niggas yeah, don't yeah, take man. care of their kids. Yeah. Niggas don't, don't bring women. the bread We don't in. protect our women, niggas bro. That's, that's the fucking thing, saying? bro. Like, for real. Like, shit, motherfuckers ain't protecting them out here. Ain't taking care of them. And ain't nobody saying nothing, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You know Nobody what I'm saying? saying nothing, bro. They just I sweeping mean, under the rug like it, like like. Oh well, nah, bro. But now yeah. they saying something. See, yeah. it ain't the niggas saying nothing. It's the women saying something. Yeah, and that's yeah I know why that. they say fuck these niggas. You want some pussy? You gotta pay for it. Hey, you know but what I'm saying? The man gotta say something, bro. Hey, the man gotta stand up. Like yeah, the women the can say something all day long, something, but they ain't gonna say nothing because all the niggas out here is 
Press for pussy. Yeah. yeah. That's why they want. You know, it's going to take righteous brothers to stand up, bro. We can't yeah. save everybody. Yeah. But it's going to take the righteous brothers to stand up and, and, and want to be looked at in a greater form. Because, bro, we're looking at all these other races and we're looking at them and it's looking like they doing their thing. But look at us. Right. What we look like. You know what I'm saying? And we them niggas. You know what I'm saying? No, so, You yeah. know what I'm saying? For lack of a better word, like we is the universe. Yeah. We are the world, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like and the shit. indigenous people of everything. Don't like, just see, look bro. at it. We imitated by everything in their body, you know what at I'm saying? At all point yeah. of times. Like, we them nobodies who are somebody, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just got to act like it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, like I said, you know, we're going to see if we get some bars from Mr. Jump Shot Shooter right here, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, we're going to come right back to y'all, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And now, you Shoot know what I'm saying? Before Straight we get up out of here, you right know what I'm saying? Is. We finna get the motherfucking flows going. You know what I'm saying? This nigga Shooter say he got some bars for us. So let's get it. You know what I'm saying? Straight freestyle. None of that road down shit when people be having their phone and all that shit. Straight authentic. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. Damn. I done made it out the basement. I've been up all day long, probably sitting getting wasted. Money, 10 bands, I done put it in a rubber band. Shorty, thick, at the crib doing headstands. My life, movie, lights, camera, action, shit flashing. Yeah, on the boat, you know I'm the captain. Stabbing, shorty, yeah, I know that they own me. The gang waiting for me. These haters know that they want me. Talking, looking, and watching. See that nigga in the foreign. Around the world, you see me like Dora, and I'm exploring my lifestyle. I need it right now. Like treating me like a stepchild. So I'ma blow that shit up like blah. In the midst of this shit, in the midst of my game. I'm blowing up, you know the name. Yeah, Bruce Wayne. That's that rich shit. Whip look like Batman. Niggas fruit loose too, can't Sam. Pull that shit up like damn. Yeah, holla at the fam. My lawyer get me out the jam. Yeah, I'm in the play. Yeah, out the pocket when I scram. Hey, hey, wait a minute, hold up. Flame up after I roll up. Flame up after I roll up. In the hood where a nigga post up. Get that money to I blow up. Yeah, whip like owner. Yeah, that's like squirrel shit. Watch your motherfucker gon' go nuts. Whoo, nigga, please, I get G's. <laughs> yeah, flow like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Y'all niggas can't fuck with me. <laughs> See, I been the man, I got the plan. Yeah, I'm getting grants. Yeah, shorty like a fan. Yeah, is this your check? <laughs> She on my stick, and she gon' drive, she gotta get high, huh? <laughs> Multiply just like the roaches, <laughs> yeah, you hopeless <laughs> Like a telescope, my nigga, bitch, in focus huh. I gotta have it, gotta grab it, know a nigga need to see me in that 750 skit yeah. yeah, sitting back, get my dick sucked, get my dick sucked yeah. by the neighborhood slut She yeah. a slut, uh. Yeah, gets back, get my dick sucked by the neighborhood yeah. slut Yeah, nigga, I don't give a fuck, oh, yeah. nigga, I oh, don't yeah. fuck Ay. Fuck that bitch and then I leave. Then I leave. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fuck that bitch, yeah, then I leave. Yeah. Fuck that bitch and make her feel like she can't Fear breathe. Yeah. Tony Braxton, <laughs> nigga, I ain't bragging, yeah. ain't no capping in my action, hey. nigga. I don't make it happen. Hey. I'm the motherfucking captain, hey. nigga. Ain't no capping, nah. nigga. Ain't no lacking, nigga. I don't no really give a fuck what it is you saying, no nigga. Lacking, I ain't playing. I'm a player, nigga. Hey. <laughs> Ain't no hater, nigga. See you later. Saw a Nara gone up in my phone, nigga. Your bitch is born, Ay. nigga. Yeah. She sucking on my Ay. nigga Ling. Yeah. Cause yeah. she love the way Ay. a nigga bling. Yeah. Yeah, she love the way shit? a nigga lean. Yeah. It's that real shit. Nigga, I don't sip no fucking lean. Yeah. Nigga, Ay. I do what I fucking do. Yeah. Cause Ay. I do what the fuck I wanna do. It's that real shit. Pin your hater. Opinion you hater, know. nigga. Hey, the shoot in the building. Podcast. Y'all know what time it the is. The best my motherfucking boy. podcast ever. You already yeah. know. Hey, you know what ever. I'm saying? Once Check again, we day. had our nigga jump shot shooter in this motherfucker. Yeah, I appreciate What's y'all, up? my you know boy. Hey. Tell motherfuckers where they can find you at, bro. Hey, man, honestly, you know, you can Google me, jump shot shooter. Just don't space it, put it all one word, and everything come up. You can find me on all platforms like Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook. Uh, all platforms, you feel what I'm saying? Apple Music, Spotify, you know, uh, anything that you can Google, you can type my name in. Check me out, bro. I got something for you. Holler back. Shot go. Shooter. Yeah.
You know what I'm saying? Jump shot, motherfucker, shooter, man. Make sure you know. go follow this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Much and, appreciation. You know, and when y'all doing that, make sure y'all follow us. You know what I'm saying? The like and subscribe, man. Pat, the, like and hey, subscribe, man. Yeah, the Opinion Hated Podcast on every motherfucking thing. You know what I'm yes, saying? Sir. Facebook, hey, Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Podbean, whatever the fuck else. And you we trying to get building. the building. Hey, you trying to get the best opinion? These are the guys you need to mention. Yeah, shout out to all the hated ones. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? already know. And Let's we out it. that bitch. And you know, once again, try out that nigga Troy at Basis Loader. You know what I'm saying? We in the motherfucking building and we gone. Okay.